Greetings, brothers and sisters, and a very warm welcome to you and yours. Thank you for staying up, those of you who would normally be sleeping, and those of you who are busy doing night chores. I am your brother, Majesty, and of course I'm here with my studio engineer, whose name just happened to be Jacob. Giving you the impeccable truth as it has always been told by the executive elders, the mystics among the Moors, with an insight to help us see clearly through seemingly closed windows, and the clarity to walk without a shadow of a doubt right through seemingly closed doors. My dear family, it is important to note that you're listening to none other than the Supreme Sound. The Big 94, Radio Jamaica, the only logical reason for broadcasting. Tonight we pray you'll enjoy our show, whether you are feasting or fasting, so call in. Get a personal insight that is, of course, enlightening. Develop your insight with and to our radio institution. Hey, expand your mind. Take a quantum leap in time. Our studio numbers tonight are 876 926 2178 Now, without any further ado, we shall... Go to our phone lines. There's certainly a whole crowd of people waiting. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. So let's check line one. Nine two six two one seven eight. Greetings and good night. Greetings. Good night. And that person let it get cold feet. Okay, let's check line two. Greetings. Good night. Just turn off. Yes, turn off your radio quickly. Turn off your radio. Good night. Yeah. Good night. How you? How you good doing? Night. Yeah. Yeah. How can we help you? You can get a you, you can get a card reading or a name reading is up to you. Card reading. A card reading. Okay. You you got a reading before. One long time when the show and just uh, and I was near man never finished. Okay. All right, let's do it then. You want a card reading, right? Yeah. All right. Call any number in the range of one to ten. Seven. Hold on. Come again. Three. Come again. Ten. Come again. Six. Come again. Two. Come again. Nine. Come again. One. That's it, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, your first card here is called Wealth. What is your age now? Seventy-three. And of course, you would argue that you, you don't have no wealth, right? Yeah. Well, wealth doesn't always have to be money, you know. Yeah. Wealth can come in many different ways. Sometimes it is about wisdom. Yeah. Right? Sometimes it's about natural, a wealth of experience, right? Yeah. Anyway, with wealth as your first card, it suggests that you ought not to give up because something good is about to happen. And I'm sure some money is involved, okay? Yeah. You have another card here called The Magician, suggesting that, well, there's going to be a miracle in your life. Yeah. Do you buy lottery? You want me to have a long time, no. Okay. All right. Well, there's going to be a miracle anyway, okay? Yeah. 
You have another card here now called Wellbeing, suggesting that your health is going to improve. How is your health now? Right now, I'm sick one place. You're very sick? One place. Oh, explain that to me. Well, uh, right now, I can hardly move. You can hardly move? Yeah, one. Me, me do and an, an split this surgery and from that. Can you walk? You have a slip disc? I may do a surgery on it. That's in, the, in your lower back? Yeah, yeah but I do the, the surgery on my neck. It's in your neck? Yeah, then I do the surgery, yeah. But right now, my trouble with me, lower back, my neck, my giant, then my whole arm just tearing up on me. So, like... Well, know. according to your reading... You ought to expect a miracle, okay? Yeah. Yeah. What is your weight now? Do you know how much you weigh? It's a long time now, me know, yeah, but me know, me take off all the power, yeah. Uh-huh. You have another card here now, and it's called Prosperity. Yeah. So, you have children? Don't go have a stepdaughter. Only a stepdaughter? Yeah. Okay, well... Either you or someone very close to you is going to get the kind of prosperity that will impress you. But I do know that something good is coming. There's yeah. no way you could have so much good cards and there's nothing good coming, right? Yeah. I mean, if it looked like a cow, if it moved like a cow, if it behaved like a cow, it's most likely a cow, right? Yeah. You have another card here now called Potency showing a new beginning. So... Something good is about to happen. You have another card called joy, which is happiness. I mean, there's no way you could be happy if something don't change, right? Yeah. And it says you will be happy, so there will be a change. And your last card here is called satisfaction, suggesting that you will be satisfied. So, how could somebody who in a position like you get seven perfect cards? It could only mean that there's about to be a miracle. So, do you pray? Yeah. Do you know your prayer time? Yeah. From 12 to 1. 12 to 1? Yeah. It wouldn't be 12 to 1. In the what? night. No, no. What? When is your birth date? 28th of the 10, you were born in 1948, right? Yeah. So you are you are an Abbasi person. That means that your prayer time is 11, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. It's not yeah. from 12 to 1. It's from 11 to 1. Yeah. So, pray every night after 11. Yeah. Make sure you're facing the north, okay? Yeah. And I can assure you that it wouldn't be long... Because, you know, at your age, a person don't really have that much, that long on the planet, right? Yeah. I mean, the average person um, don't live, don't even live that long. Yeah. And you're gone past what? Past 72? Yeah. Listen, man, rejoice, okay? Yeah. Because something good is about to happen. And if you focus on the good prophecy, yeah. then I'm sure you live to see it, okay? Yeah. Now, it would be a good thing or helpful thing if you can do something called hydrotherapy. Hydrotherapy is when you sit down in very, very warm water yeah. the night before you go to bed. You have anyone yeah. there that can help you? Me alone live, you know. Oh. Can you walk around? Yeah, barely, barely can move around. It will be helpful if you could get the chance to sit down in some very warm water. Not too warm that it will damage you, but very, very warm. Right? Yeah. And put yeah. your two feet in water just as warm. Yeah. Wet, wet a towel in cold pipe water and wrap it around your neck yeah. before you go in the hot water, right? If you practice yeah. that every night for about 30 minutes, yeah. 
I am quite sure you'll see some changes. Yeah. So, let's not give up, okay? Thank you. That is called hydrotherapy. It is something that has been, people have been doing for thousands of years. Yeah. Thousands of years. Not even hundreds, but thousands of years. Yeah. And it, it worked very well. But you got to keep it up. Don't, don't miss a night. Thank you. Do it for 40 nights and see what happens, okay? Okay. All right. You take care now. Thank you. Bless it. Yeah. It's now 12.13. 13 after 12. No matter what we are going through in life, there is that possibility that there could be and would be a miracle. Some people are so negative that they don't see that possibility. Some people are so positive that that possibility would not miss them. So, let's be positive. It's now 1214. That's 14 minutes after midnight. Let's go to another line. Greetings. Greetings. That person let them drop sleep. Okay. Greetings. Good night. Hello, good night. Good night. How can I help you? I don't know what's going on here. Okay, have you done it before? Ten years ago. Okay, turn off your radio, please. Turn off your radio. Yes, you turn off the radio? Yeah. Okay. When is your birthday? April 23. April 23rd? Yeah, 1971. 1971. Do you know your prayer time? No, sir. Okay. If you're born in 1971, you are a Lisimba person, which means the Chinese will say you're born the year of the pig. But okay. we, the Africans, we say you are from the, you're from the house of Lisimba. We don't call you a pig. We okay. say you're a Lisimba, and okay. your your prayer time your prayer time is listen carefully nine p.m. to eleven p.m. So between nine o'clock and eleven in the night would be the perfect time for you to pray. Okay. You also have your own direction to face. Okay. Indeed, everyone have a guardian angel. The guardian angel for the Simba people is, um, let's see, it is north northwest. So you have to face the north and turn an inch to the left. Okay. That's north northwest, okay? Yeah. So every night, face the north and then turn an inch to the left. Okay. And prayer. Make sure that you're praying between anytime between nine o'clock and eleven in the night. Okay. It works like a dream. Okay? Yes, sir. You're born April, you said? Yes, sir. April twenty third? Yes, sir. Now twenty three is the official number of success. It okay. means great cleverness and brains, great personal gifts. Success in speaking and success in writing. Okay. So if you decide to write some tunes, write some stories, do some writing, you may be more successful than you thought. Okay. So do it. All right? Yes, sir. Now let me give you a reading. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 2. Come again. 7. Come again. Four. Come again. Eight. Come again. One. Come again. Nine. And give me a final one now. Ten. Eight. Ten. Ten, okay. Question, does your eyes bother you? 
Yes, sir. What's wrong with your eyes? It's foggy. Very, very foggy? No, not too foggy. Uh, is there any time when you're not foggy? Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, what what time is it that is not foggy? Like in the evening time. But in the morning it's foggy? Yeah, when I wake up. And I just wake up. Okay. There's a there's a herb called plantain or English plantain. Okay. That herb may help you a lot, you know. It's okay. possible you got some inflammation behind the iris, okay? Okay. English plantain is very good for that. If you can get the English plantain liquid, go to any herbal shop and tell them that you want to buy plantain. Okay. It's spelled the same way as plantain that you know, but it's not the plantain that you know. It's a very tiny herb, uh, smaller than a lettuce, okay? Okay, English plantain. Yes. At any herbal shop, you should be able to get it there or ask them to import it for you. Okay. Um, if you can get, if you get it in herb form, you can, you can actually put it in boiling water and get the medicine out of it. And then you can, and then you can use that as eye wash, or you can buy the the liquid itself. Yes, the, the English plantain extract you can buy it on the internet. English plantain extract or plantain extract. That's P L A N T A I N, right? Okay. A lot of people know it as English plantain, the, but the botanical name is Plantago Major. That's the botanical name. Okay. It is very, very good. Um, if you get the, the plantain liquid, you can put a drop of water in two glasses and put mix it with uh, a drop of the plantain and mix it together. And you can put that, drop that into your eyes and go lay down with that liquid in your eyes at night, like go sleep with that liquid in your eyes. By next morning, you wake up, you see all the inflammation come out of it and okay. your eyes will be like crystal clear, you know? Okay, okay. It's very good. Yes, sir. The first card here is the king of intuition. You have children? Uh, yes, sir. How much children do you have? Two daughters. Okay. You get along with them? Very well. All right. But the way I ask you that is because the king of intuition really is usually about a man that is stern, um, a very serious father figure, you know? Okay. And sometimes uh, he could be misunderstood by yes, children. Sir. Children may think that he's too too, too uptight sometimes, but he's a good father. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your second card here is a son, and you said you don't have a son, right? No, sir. Um, it's possible you may have lost a son. Maybe somebody mm -hmm. gave away your son to somebody else? Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. You, you have any suspicion about that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because uh, there's a boy here that's a lot like you, but you didn't get him. Yes, sir. Same cycle, sir. Same cycle. Yes, sir. That is very sad, man. I mean, when the king loses crown prince, you know that is. But you, you had a clue that that was happening, right? Yes, sir. So why did you not defend it? Um, I don't put up any resistance, you know. Huh? I don't put up any resistance. Yeah, I, I noticed that um, in Jamaica, a lot of men don't put up any resistance when the woman give away their seed. Choo choo, choo choo. Uh, you know, that is, that's very sad, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're supposed to fight for what is yours. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, I, I grew up in Barbados, right? Yes, sir. And, um... Where I come from, I've never heard, literally never heard of a woman giving away a baby to to the wrong man. Okay. Maybe it happens. I don't know, but I never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. And I can tell you that in a case where something like that was going on, it would be a very, a very big scene if a man had a suspicion that his baby is being given to another man. That would be a war. Okay. In my culture where I come from, right? Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I know about three cases where man have sex with woman that had their husband and the woman got pregnant and man put the woman and the husband in court. Okay. So, you know, if a man don't care if him live or die and he prefer to go that far over his seed, you know, it's a very serious thing, right? Yes, sir. But there's a difference between 
the the um the Jamaican uh, mindset okay. and the Barbadian mindset. See, yes, yes. here's the difference now. Jamaica got independence in 1962. That's the year of the tiger. Now okay. that that gave the Jamaicans a tigerish mindset. Okay. Now, now the tiger is basically the only animal in creation that once the female is pregnant, he's gone. Okay. The female tiger now, the tigress, once she see the cubs learning to eat, she run away left them too. Okay. You understand? Yes, sir. So, we we don't know how Jamaica was before independence, but once you get independent in the year of the tiger, you're going to take on that tiger blessing, tiger curse. I say it's a blessing too because the tiger is the greatest performer of all the animals. Okay. And no, nobody can perform like a Jamaican. I don't care where you're from. You cannot perform like a Jamaican, okay? Okay, okay. Everybody know that, right? Yes, sir. All right. Whether you're talking sports, music, whatever, Jamaicans are number one in performance. Yes, sir. However, too many people let the children slip through their fingers. Okay. Too many children at too many schools don't know their father. Too and, too. and the father's around. Yes, sir. So that is very sad, right? Yes, sir. Now, in the Barbados situation, they got independent in 1966. That's the year of the horse. Okay. Now, the horse person is a whole different ball game. If you look at horses, when the female give birth to the colt, the, the baby horse, the male horse stick around the baby all the time while the female walk away, eat her grass and all that. But the male horse, he could even starve because he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. He's sticking around the youngster. And if you go to many clinics... You visit the clinic in Barbados, you see a lot of men take the baby to clinic. Okay. While in most other lands, it's mostly a woman that would have done that, right? Yes, sir. So it is a difference. You also see a lot of men there who would um, do things that um, other men here wouldn't want to do. You understand? Okay. Yes, sir. Like, um, of course... A good father in Jamaica is a magnificent father. Don't get me wrong. I've met some magnificent fathers in Jamaica. Right? Yes, sir. sir. But there's too too many men per capita here who would allow a baby to slip through their fingers. Yes, sir. That is something that should never be tolerated. Okay? True, true. I'm not bashing anyone. I'm just saying that this is true. It have a lot to do with the blessing and the curse. Yes, of the sir. animal that ruled the year of the independence of the nation. Okay? Choo-choo. There's another card here now called Justice. Justice it suggests that life will be fair to you still, you know. Yes, sir. Life is going to be fair to you. You have some good times coming. However, okay. you may have to show up in court for one reason or the other. You may put someone in court or somebody put you in court, but you're going to court, but you'll be all right. Okay. Then there's the Empress. Were you close to your mother? I'm on a past away. Were you close to your mother? Yes, sir. Okay. The Empress is fertility. It's all about the uh, your mother's nurture as well. Okay. There's a, and if you have daughters, I am sure that um, as you grow older, they will look after you. Okay? Okay, okay. There's a card here now called Order, which means that... Um, even though things may not be the way you want it, your life, everything is going in the in the order that it was supposed to go according to your fate or your uh, fortune, okay? Okay. And it's a card here called loss, and it come upside down. Apparently, you almost lost your life already. Okay. Hold on. And then there's a card here called love. So your love life is going to improve. How's your love life now? Uh, not so good enough. There's going to be an improvement. Maybe okay. you get a new lover, but something different is going to happen to uh, turn your new, love life around. With a new lover? It would appear so to me. Okay, okay. So how is you and your present lover? Well, it's not going so right now, you know. Um, when is that person's birthday? Uh... I don't remember right now. You don't remember what year the person is born or anything? 
No, no, I don't remember right now. So you, you're really not focused on that person, right? No, no not really, but I'm no, no good ways, you know? No good ways. No mm. good ways. It is likely that that person will move on or you will move on, but your love life will change dramatically in the next few years, okay? Yes, sir. Now, what is your main question now? Oh, I I just hear what I want to hear, you know? You did? Yes, sir. Okay, well, you take care of yourself. You, 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 You know your prayer time, right? Yes, sir. Good. And you know it is important that you ask for what you really need. Okay. A lot of people don't get what they need because they don't ask for it. True, true. It is written that we should ask yes, and sir. it shall be given. We should yes, seek sir. and we shall find. Yes, sir. So, don't be afraid to ask for what you need. Even if it's money you need, ask for it. True, true. It is written that um, God is our Father and if you ask for a bread, he will not give you a stone, right? Okay. So, ask for it. Yes, sir. You take care now. Okay, you too. Bless you. Yeah, man. We take our first break and be right back. This is Radio Jamaica. The show is Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. I am your host, Majesty, with Jacob at the Musical Control. Imagine this. And just imagine this. Eddie, a brethren in Port of Spain, Trinidad, he's asking a question. He says, King Majesty, do you think another Caribbean country, perhaps Trinidad, will take over in sports from the Jamaicans? Eddie, that's wishful thinking, Eddie, but it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. Eddie, a blessing is a blessing is a blessing. So, For another Caribbean country to take over in sports and music over Jamaica, a that Caribbean country would have to be a tiger country, a country got independent in the year of the tiger, and B, that country would have to be around the same size as Jamaica, with around the same amount of people to choose from. It's not going to happen, Eddie. So, just wish Jamaican and Jamaicans well. Sorry to burst the bubble, bro. It's just not going to happen. Jamaica is it. Being To be a Jamaican is to be qualified in a way that is second to none. Do your best, Eddie. But you're not going to catch the Jamaicans in this race. It's now 1241 in Jamaica. Yeah, we big up all our fans in Trinidad and Tobago. Big up our fans in Grenada, Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean. Big up our fans all over Africa, England, America. And speaking about America, America got its, it founded in the year of the monkey. <laughs> no, the monkey is the trickiest, slickest animal in the world. Study American history and you would know who really tricky, who really slick, and who really eat their pie and have it too. Check the birth of every nation, which animal rule that year, and you can know a whole lot about that nation. It is a blessing and a curse that is not going to change ever. It's now 1242 in Jamaica. You're listening to Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. Let's return to our phone lines now. Greetings. Greetings, King Majesty. Yeah, how you do? I am blessed. And you? I'm good. How can we help? I would like a card reading. I got a reading about three years ago. I think that we're on now. Okay, let's do it then. Call any number in the range of one to ten. Two. Come again. Five. Come again. Seven. Come again. Mm, 
nein. Come again. Ten. Come again. Eleven. Mm, uh, you cannot jump over. You see, there's a certain kind of a railing. Uh, the number's gone from one to ten, okay? Okay, sorry, If you, sorry, if you sorry, go sorry, to eleven, sorry, sorry, you're going to mash down the hole sorry. and my cabbage may got plant at the back of the fence. <laughs> Okay, uh, eight. Hold on. Come again. Mm, one. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. Uh, who for puppy that? My puppy. Uh, um, My puppy barks at night. All right, all right. He doesn't right. like beef at all. Okay, okay, all right. The first card here is called the lovers. Are you in love? Well, mm, I love everybody. No, we don't not talk really, about it. I'm the... not really intimately in love. Oh, well, you're going to be intimately in love, you know. Pardon me? You're going to become intimately in love. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, no, I'm hearing you. And this is not, we're not talking about no puppy love, rare, rare love. Listen, you gotta go in a different room. Get rid of that puppy, ma'am. Wow. That puppy is reverberating to the studio. And I'm on the inside and they're on the outside, you know. Anyway. You have another card here and it's called Content, suggesting that you will live to a very good old age, perhaps into your 90s, okay? Pardon me? You will live into your, you're likely to live into your 90s and be very contented with your life. Okay. It's a card called love, so love is back here again. You will find yourself in the arms of love, ma'am. Okay. Do you have a son? Two sons. Two sons. Uh-huh. Uh, um, any one of your sons had any military leaning? Ah. Uh, mm. Well, one is, one is, um... I don't know. One is a JC colors. All he do is cola. All he do is um, he does printing and all of that. Uh huh. Mm hmm. And the other one is a landscaper. No, no. Well, then this is a grandson here. Then. Wow. That more likely like one of my grandsons. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of your grandsons is going to become a soldier, or a police. He's have a, he's going to have a military job. Okay. And he will also be um, famous in a way of um, probably politically famous. You know, someone who makes a big difference okay. in society. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. There's a card here now called the moon. Well, you may be scared of a man cheating on you, right? <laughs> you don't want to go to them thing there no more, right? No, no. Well, I think that you ought to have faith in man, you know. Okay? Have faith in man. Wow. Uh, it's likely that you will connect with a good man and you won't have to worry about that, okay? Okay. Because this card here, the moon, shows that you have a certain fear of going through something that you've probably been through before, but don't worry about it. Don't live in the past, okay? Okay. Yeah. You have, some, you have some good men out there. If you got good women out there, you must have good men out there too, right? That's true. And every broom have it stick in the bush, right? That's true. Yeah. And there's another card here now called change. So change may mean that you need to change your attitude about a lot of things. Wow. In order to have things go the right way. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you want a miracle in your life, you have to have a change of heart. A change oh. of heart creates... Miracles. Okay. Sometimes not even one, but many. Okay? But can I ask a question? Yes. What is What would be the change of heart? Because I, I don't see... You may see people in a certain light, and you may even be right. But you may also need to change the way you deal with them or the way you perceive them. Okay. In other words, subtly we perceive that people don't or cannot change, right? 
Okay. But that's not necessarily so. Okay. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yes. And some, some, sometimes the way people treat us, we, we feel to just keep far from people, right? No, that's me. That's me. Yeah, but then, then we, we may still lose a lot of blessing by keeping far from those who are there to hand us the blessing. <laughs> Okay. It's six and one and a half dozen the other, okay? Okay. So this change of heart, it brings about the miracle. All right? Okay. And we have another card here now called the star. Any daughters? I have two daughters. Huh? Two daughters. Mm. Well, a star is going to come out of the loins of one of your daughters. So one of your daughters would have a child who will do very well in the literary work, in the literary field, maybe an excellent writer. Wow, I think think that's my first daughter's son. Uh Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That is something that is surely happening as we speak. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you will live to see the manifestation. Okay. Give thanks unto the Lord. So, be happy from now. Okay. I remember that out of evil cometh good. So, all the pain and suffering that you've been through, it, it pays off at some point. Okay? Wow. Because out of evil cometh good. Mm-hmm. So, evil doesn't have the power. Good have the power. Okay. Any questions? You know your prayer time? Ah. Uh. I think they told me from three o'clock. I don't quite remember because what 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 year what year were you born? The ninth of April, nineteen sixty-two. Okay, so you are a tiger. Okay. Wow. <laughs> now listen carefully. This is tiger year we're in now. You know this is your year. All right. Okay. Now the tigers are the world's greatest performers. There's no one on the planet that can perform like a tiger. But the tigers make the most expensive mistakes in the world. Oh, Lord. (laughs) You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, if a few years ago I told you your prayer time, right? What I did by telling you your prayer time, I actually give you God's phone number, you know? Pardon? When I give you your prayer time, I'm actually giving you God's phone number. Technically. Okay. So, when you... Let that slip. When you forget about that, it means that you you didn't end up using that opportunity. You didn't use it. Then you because I I got up in the morning every morning at three o'clock. My body function, my organs wake me up. Hello. I can hear you. Yes, my body organs will wake me up at three or two three in the morning. Look, um, listen, in the African world, we call you Chike, okay? Okay. Your prayer time is 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Uh, I maintain is your, it. That, I is, maintain that it. is your prayer time? Yes, I maintain All it. tigers wake up at tiger time because there's a guardian angel for the tigers. He appears at 3 o'clock, he leaves at 5, and he wakes everybody up. Even if you're a little baby, he's going to wake you up. I maintain it. I can right? maintain it, King Majesty, because... Every morning, either to three or exactly three o'clock, my my organs in my body wakes me up. Exactly. I lo- See, people hear me talk these things on the radio. They say, "Chow foolishness." No, it's uh, true. Listen, it. It, mm-hmm. even though you don't know, it works. Yes. So now that you, I know that I've given you a reminder. You ought to be more fervent when you find your eyes open at that time. Just prayer. It will be helpful if you face your guardian angel and pray. So the he still said, right? Or not? No, 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 no. The the direction of the tiger, what we call cheke direction, is east, north, east. Yes. yes. That means you're going to face the east Mm -hmm. and turn an inch to the left. Okay. And you'll be Mm -hmm. facing your guardian angel. Mm-hmm. I'm telling mm-hmm. you, ma'am, it worked like a dream. Mm-hmm. I know. I've been through a lot. I know I, may, I maintained something um, good that you told me, and that was it. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you. after a while, you get spectacular results. 
you right. know, so because the, um, the, I could remember in the last reading uh, when the enemies were raging around me, and now that I I I I, I followed my prayer time, and um, I I see them coming you now. I would have palm. The palm comes out. I have the two type of palms here: the coconut and the other little uh-huh. little one that you would see mostly in the banks or so. Right, traveler's and, palm, uh-huh. and that one carries a lot of seeds. So I would throw them in a pan and they come so No, the church come asking me for suckers. The enemies come asking me for suckers. And that tree brings peace. You know, I want yes. to hear from you more about that tree. That tree brings a lot of peace. Yes, it does. It does. But you know what really brings the peace? A change of heart. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I now, gave it to them. Listen, mm-hmm. our most destructive enemy is ourselves ma'am okay not the people out there okay. the people out there are angels just like us who are sent to either be a pain in the butt they're just sent to test us okay and we to test them too okay right mm-hmm. so the best way to get rid of enemies is to don't see them as enemies at all wow. just that, that change of heart I think I heard that from you the last three years and I exercise it and it's excellent. It's it, is, it, it is awesome. Yes. Okay? Yes. So you take care of yourself, okay? Because your phone is going nuts. Take care. Okay, all righty. Thanks. Blessed. Greetings. Good night. Oh. Hello. Good night. How you do? Can you hear me? Hello. Good night. Good night. How can we help you? Hello. Turn off your radio quickly. Okay. Turn off your radio or we we'll lose you. Okay, you hear me? Yes. Okay. How can I help you? I was looking for a card reading. You ever had one before? Well, once. How long ago that was? About two years ago. You don't remember? Well, not quite. Okay. Someone still have the radio on secretly somewhere, you know? What radio? Your radio. My radio is off. All right. Now, call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 5. 5. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, come again. Uh, 3. Come again. 10. Come again. Two. Come again. Seven. Come again. Uh, nine. Come again. Two. Good. That's it. Now, um, you get any pain in your lower back? No. Good. The first card here is a card that shows that you will be very satisfied with your life, but do not lift heavy weights this year, okay? Mm-hmm. Or you may incur a serious problem with your back. Okay. You have another card here called Joy. So if you got something heavy to lift, ask someone to assist you. Mm-hmm. There's another card here called Joy, the Three of Joy. You are born with the power to make at least three children. you have any children at all? No. How old you are now? 21. Huh? 21. 21? Yeah. Okay, you're still young. You're likely to end up having three children. Right. Two of one sex and one of the other. So there's both sexes. So either one male and two females or one female and two males. This, the future will, show, will tell you that, right? Okay. Then there's a card called Prosperity, suggesting that you'll be very prosperous, but you need to eat a lot more green leafy vegetables. Oh. How are you doing on greens? Well, I don't eat a lot, but, yeah. Huh? Well, I don't eat a lot, but I eat a moderate amount, so. Okay. Yeah. It would be good if you could find out your blood type. Oh. I eat according to your blood type, all right? Uh-huh. There's another card here now called Conflict, suggesting that there's a conflict brewing. But if you 
practice proper anger management, you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Someone or some people are going to get you real upset, but it's only a test. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Don't let it drive you nuts. And then there's a daughter here. Have you been pregnant? No. Huh? No. But then you will be sooner than you hoped. You're okay. Gonna, you're going to have a daughter. She's fiery. Real peppery little girl. She's a winner. Oh. She's great. Mm -hmm. But fairly hard to control because she's very stubborn. But she's a, okay. a, a super, super personality. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you have another card here now called the hangman. And the hangman is a warning that you need to eat better. Oh. All right? Yeah. Eat more greens, eat more fruit, and cut down on very fatty stuff. Mm -hmm. Use a lot of butter? Not really. Just avoid very fatty foods. Fatty Yeah, like... Meats, be, ca be, be cautious, okay? Okay. And then there's a character called uncertainty. It may be that you feel very uncertain about the future, but the future will unfold nevertheless, and you will reap the benefit of knowledge and wisdom. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Should you reach for it, okay? Right. Where's your father? Thank you. How you get along with him? Good, yeah. Any girl that have her father's blessing is on the road to even more blessing. Uh -huh. It is the key to connection with a proper husband. Oh. Are you seeing someone? No. You want to? Okay. Have you been praying for that? No. So you don't want to? No. So you prefer to be by yourself? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. That's cool. I'm not going to argue argue with you on that one. Okay? Okay. Remember, you're not going to get pregnant by yourself, right? Yeah, that's okay. No immaculate conceptions wrong here. But I do know one thing for sure. Your life will change in time. Right. For the better, okay? All right. That's the only clue I will give you now. Mm -hmm. That's the only clue I dare give you. Because you don't want to, right? Right. All right. So think about your future now. And call any number in the range of uh, 10 and 73. Any of those numbers inside of there? You call a number? 32. 32? Mm-hmm. Okay. Call a number between 1 and 10? 7. 7? Mm-hmm. Hold on. So 32 and 7 is 39, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, let's examine these numbers. Hold on a minute. 32. This number has magical properties. You must be careful not to let your plans be wrecked by other people's recklessness and bad judgment. Success assured in most operations. People under this number will have many friends, find social and work connections, but there's a danger of yielding to evil, especially in moral habits. Hmm. Avoid smoking, excess drinking, and excess gambling, right? Then we got number seven. Are you there? Can you hear me? Phone card gone. Okay. Number seven, great independence. A lover of constant changes. People under this number make famous writers. They are dreamers, clairvoyant. They have powers of magnetism over others who do their bidding. Full of new ideas. Great learning. Great insight into what made the world go wrong and generally a winner. And it adds to 39. Let's see what we have here. 
39. Sound health and long, long living, companionship and love. But it is a variable number that can bring people under it to the highest success or the deepest suffering. So, ma'am, you are on a balancing scale. Be cautious about your choices. That's the only clue I can give you. Talk to your father about your choices. Hear what he have to say. And take his advice. You wouldn't lose that way. This is wisdom unveiling. It's now one or four. Four minutes after one o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, you know, out here on the streets, we meet people who have different uh, preferences and persuasions. There's a a line of people who uh, don't want to make family, and they go in some real weird directions still we have to respect we ought to respect their choice and their preference there's a line of young people who will walk with them pants down even if they put on a belt, they don't use it. Well, what that does, you know, to the human frame is that you end up having a snake waist. A snake waist is when you know your wear don't look good upon you because you don't have no waistline. You don't. You lose. You become like a snake. Your body become like a like a like a one a number one. There's no. <laughs> there's no hips and waist. There's no. You lose it right there. It is important to dress in a way where you use a belt and have a waistline properly. Or somewhere down the road, you're going to have a snake waist. There's a lot of young boys going to school right now in their school clothes and they have on them belt and everything, but you can see they look like snakes. They, they, they don't have no, no waistline. We call it snake waste. It's not good. There's a line of people who will take their good money and go in a boutique and buy a old tear up pants. Like 10 dogs tear it up. You whole of the knee tear out. Well, that's dangerous because if the rest of your foot warm but your knee is exposed to cold, by a certain time in your life, you may find yourself not being able to walk because you can get some serious arthritis in those knees. Okay. And finally, there's a line of people who have decided to be scammers. And um, there's a lot they don't understand about the trade of scamming. They believe that what they're doing is what they must do. Maybe they believe that that's what they should be doing. But if you're breaking the golden rule that says do unto others as you'll have them do unto you, then in scamming you're breaking that rule because you're scamming someone and you don't want the one to scam you. But that is not the real problem here. The real problem is that the whole scamming thing may well be a setup. And the people that you scam may well be some people that want you to scam them. No, no, no. That is an angle that no one don't look at. Mm-hmm. Maybe they want something from you. But if you find out what it is they want from you, 
you'll be shocked. But there will be a harvest time coming up because more than 98% of scammers are known to those who are who they're scamming and they don't know that they're known. They can be rich. And they may be rich when harvest time comes. But what is the harvest about? If you want to know more, I will encourage you to go on my YouTube channel. Just type the word King Majesty. Search my YouTube channel and look for a story because I write stories. But my stories are not just stories. I can assure you, they're metaphors of truth. Look for a story called Get Rich or Die Trying. And maybe, just maybe you'll find out. If you really listen to that story, you'll find out what it is these people probably want from you and probably will end up taking from you Once the long arm of the law grab you and extradite you to their world. And when they take what they take, they're not going to feel no way because they've already paid you for it. You've already enjoyed their cash. You see, we're all living in a massive matrix. It's a massive game. And there are players in the game and there are people who are in the game that don't know that it's a game. So they're playing a game of snakes and ladders not realizing that they will be eaten by the snakes. Hey, this is deep, man. Just check out my YouTube channel. Type in the word King Majesty and look for the story Get rich or die trying. Of course, you can also find our predictions for 2022. How it will be for you in 2022. So, check it out. But for the scammers, trust me, you are our family. We don't want nothing bad happen to you. You need to know all the angles. You need to know exactly what it is that you're really caught up in that you don't know. Check it out. It won't hurt to know the truth. It may be of some great help. And yes, I know a lot of people will not listen to the truth. But you should at least know about it. It's a game. You've been caught up in a game. Can you win the game? Hey, it's not your game. Can the fish in the sea win when the fishermen go fishing? Well, they'll win even only if they don't bite at the bait. But in scamming, the bait look real good. And you see some fish taking home some bait. So you don't think you'll get hooked. But you certainly may when harvest time come. Please, watch what you're doing. We warn you because we care. We warn you because you are our family. You know how bad it looked to see X among the plain loads of our people being flown out to another country, accused of being scamming, scammers, and then to pay a price that we'll never find out about. That's very sick, man. It's very sad. And this feeling that no one don't know who you are. Hey. You may be deluding yourself. You may be fooling yourself. But without giving anything away, 
Look for the story. Get rich or die trying on King Majesty's YouTube channel. In the same breath, you can look for your predictions of your life for 2022. This, of course, is wisdom unveiling. It's now 120 in Jamaica. Greetings. 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 Good night, Majesty. Good night. How you do? Well, I'm not too good and not too bad. Okay, that sounds like a fair balance. What's going on with you? Well, I'm not feeling so good or having a problem. True. Going six years now, I carry about it, but never get much. Well, you, you, if, you, if you're not feeling well, you know, you should see a doctor. You've been to a doctor? Uh, look here. I've been to doctors, 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 and I know they, they can't tell me anything. True? So, so, yes. So why is them did tell you? Them, them just a look and it's like them, they must see something like that. True. And, you know, because right now, I'm both, you know, them have to go, go. And... But that's why me about color because right now me hardly can't eat. You hardly you lose you lose your appetite? No, I know me appetite and my tongue. Something wrong with my tongue and my throat. Okay. Um but, if some something's wrong with your tongue and your throat. What kind yes, of Yes, my what? tongue sore, my tongue sore and sometimes it's well something not right with me and me 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 me, me, me ask you my suspect. Oh, hold on, hold on. Did you get tested for HIV? Yes, me do that and... And them say you're all right. Negative. Okay. You ever, you ever was a smoker? No. Okay, so... And I don't drink neither. Uh-huh. But, you, but your tongue... I mean, when you look at your tongue, does it look very white? Okay, it's like, all right, it's like me go to bed in the night. Now when uh-huh. me wake in the morning, it's white. And when me clean it off, it all right. But it have what, it's so right in the middle and it raised like uh-huh. that uh-huh. that part. Okay. Well, I mean, I know. All right, well, you, you have, that's a serious problem. Um, you, there's something called myrrh. See if you can get liquid myrrh. Myrrh liquid. Okay. You, you have heard about frankincense and myrrh, right? Yeah, but the liquid one. Yeah, get the liquid myrrh. And you can mix it with golden seal. Golden seal, powdered golden seal or liquid golden seal. And, and, and gargle with that. You can also make a tea with it and drink it as well. And there's a herb called um, wild cherry bark. Mm-hmm. You ever use that one? No. Well, well, cherry bark is a herb that God created for that area of the human physical, the the throat, the esophagus, the mouth. And the organs of speech, like the larynx, all those areas there. Well, cherry bark have medicine for all that in it. Okay. Mm. So between wild well, cherry bark, golden seal, golden seal tend to heal anything that it touch. So between wild well, cherry bark, golden seal, and myrrh, you should get some help. Okay. I need a card reading. Okay, let's do it. Call any number in the range of one to ten. Eight. Hold on. Come again. Another number. Five. Come again. One. Come again. Nine. Come again. Seven. Come again. Four. Come again. Ten. That's it, okay? Okay. Uh, Your first card here is called the Fool. 
the fool. Now, the fool, if the fool come as your first card, right? Mm-hmm. You listen to me? Yes, I'm listening. If the fool come as your first card, it means that you have made some expensive mistakes in your yes, life. Exactly. I mean, very expensive mistakes. Exactly. And you need to look back at what you've been doing in the past. Because that is what led to your pain now. Okay? Okay. You've made some expensive mistakes. Mistakes that you probably can't even talk about, but you you, you, you would know if you look good. All right? Mm-hmm. You have another card here now called Desolation. Desolation is a card that speaks of sickness in the eyes and sickness in other parts of the of the body as well. Yes, that's okay. Is your your eyes okay? Well, you know, me I feel you like glass we do read time, time, time things. That's all me know. You have to use what? Glasses, reading glasses, uh-huh. like we read time things. Uh-huh. Well, that happens to most of us. That's not, not that's not anything to raise no alarm about. But you have another card here now called the Ace of Energy. You have any children? Four. Okay. Now, one child is likely to do excellently in out there. Pardon me? One child is supposed to do extremely well out there in the world. Okay. You have any children that are doing well right now? Well, I don't know if that's an I don't see that, you know. Well, one of them is going to do well. Um, how much sons you have? you have any sons? Phone card gone. The, the one, one is a son that will, his life is going to turn around. Oh, well, let me tell you, though, right now, the little last one, in, he has no magazine, don't deal with him. He uh-huh. tell me things, disrespectful things. Uh, no, no. And the, no. And the other one, him, though, be a good with the either. Just the other day, <laughs> much years, we don't hear that. We might just the other day, Miss Lee, come look for his sister, this sister, him come on by me. One of them, life is going to turn around. Okay? okay. Okay. And it's possible that that one who's left get turned around, he may actually go to prison first, but after that, his life will turn around. Uh, it may, it's more to be the last one that mm-hmm. don't have the manners. Mm-hmm. There's another card here, and it's called the world. So an opportunity is going to come for you to go across the water, you know, to another land. Okay. And be offered a job. Okay. Taking care of children. And then there's another son here, so there's two sons. One is going to get into trouble, but his life will turn around after that. Well, the, the, the big one in trouble, you mean in one farmer, yeah, but the, the younger one will be more progressive than the bigger one in time, you know. Okay. You understand? But they not doing nothing right now. No, 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 no. That's right now. Okay. Because mentally he's going through a lot. Emotionally. Okay. He have to get himself together. Okay. Yes, he may I mean, not dealing with me that they could even talk to him because uh, no, some, you understand that he, he mixed up in scamming. <laughs> he will go to the strainer and he will feel it, but he will come out better than before after all that. Okay? Okay. Yeah, so when bad things happen, just don't lose your mind, okay? Okay. There's another card here, and it's called the Hangman, suggesting that you need to change 
your your diet. You need to eat a lot more on the uh, try. Look, make an effort to eat raw foods. Okay. Um, like vegetables. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Raw can, fruits. Vegetables too. When you let's say you cook a soup, right? Yeah. Some of the same things in the soup. Like the Irish, the carrot, those things. Yeah. You can grate some and put them in the f- raw in the food when it's done. Oh. Okay. So you'll be eating raw and cooked food together. That's positive, negative food. Okay. It have a lot of living enzymes in it. It will help you. Okay. Because okay. yeah. whatever problem you have, it seems your system may have been poisoned in a strategic kind of way. It can be poisoned by aluminium poisoning. Mm-hmm. Sometimes the very pots we cook in poison us, you know. Mm-hmm. Aluminum is a poison. Mm-hmm. So, if you're able to get a pot that is not a, an aluminum pot, like, like it's not an iron pot, you know, you got glassware, you got all kinds of pots out there, you know. So, I am, I am that good to cook in to either. For some people, it is fine. And for some people, it can... Some Listen, some iron have deposits of lead in it, you know. Okay. Some people, okay. Some people melt down lead and iron and everything together and they make pots. Oh. Right? And some, people, and some people of some blood types is sensitive, very sensitive to that. And it poisons them. Okay. There's, a lot that we, there's a lot that we don't look into. So it would best to use stainless steel. Right. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. You gotta get to the root of your problem. Yeah. And sometimes it's not what you can perceive, but it's there. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's the very utensils you're cooking that can be damaging. Mm-hmm. Alright? Do you use nutmeg? Yes, I use it. Huh? Yes, I use nutmeg. Very often? Sometimes. What will you do with nutmeg? Like we blend things, we put in it on porridge. And put nutmeg in it? Yes. How often? Well, we never use porridge because we love porridge and we like to So blend. you love porridge, so therefore you end up using nutmeg many so, times. Nutmeg that good to use. Oh, nutmeg is excellent. However, oh. there are people on the planet that is allergic to nutmeg. Mm-hmm. And it it damages them in their mouth. You understand? Mm-hmm. There's nothing wrong with the nutmeg, you know, but you have some people who are allergic to it and them don't know. Mm-hmm. So cut out the nutmeg out your out your diet for now. Okay. And see if your if your mouth end up feeling better, okay? Okay. Now if I am if I'm blaming the nutmeg wrongfully, well I I pray the nutmeg would forgive me, but you have to leave no stone unturned right now when you have a problem that doctors can't figure out, okay? Yeah. Right. So I would be suspicious of nutmeg in your case and eating from aluminium pots in your because- case. Majesty, it's all right now. When we eat it, it ought to choke me. Sometimes stop and me, me choke and like it won't lock off my white time. My green time. It is clear that you have a problem that unless something is done, you may need surgery to correct it unless something is done. Sometimes people have growths growing on the on the throat. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And sometimes people got parasites. Serious mm-hmm. parasites. Mm-hmm. When I say parasites, they mean worms, you know? Mm-hmm. You ever use to eat pork? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, some, 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 um, well, some people develop very serious parasites from eating certain meats that carry parasites like pork. Mm-hmm. So you have to cut out pork out of your your out well, of your. Why do you use that anymore? Even though you don't, right? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Worms, or parasites from years ago will still be there, breeding up. Some people's body is a hotel mm-hmm. for swarms and swarms and swarms of parasites. Mm-hmm. You understand? Different different legions of worms and different types of parasites that look strange. Mm-hmm. But based on what we've been eating. Right? Yeah. I suppose all pork is probably not dangerous. I see a big sign from the, from the south, from the north coast one day, Mark. Know your pork! <laughs> and the sign freaked me out because I said, well, I suppose if a man raises pigs in a certain way, it may have less parasites. Mm-hmm. But what will a pig that just go in the garbage and all about? You can imagine. Yes, one you can imagine. The amount of parasites where he will put into yes, you. Yes, that one that. unclean. Well, the Bible says that all pork is unclean, right? Yes. Um, well, maybe some farmers would say, well, that is madness. You know, their pork <laughs> is clean because they raise them a certain way, right? Yes, and I can true. understand from a farmer perspective that he may be talking a lot of sense too, right? I'm just saying, if you like pork, know your pork. <laughs> I said, big sign, Martin, know your pork. Freak me out. Um, and I have to respect that. Yes, okay? that's true. Um, that's true. You, got, you got millions of people around the world eating pork, and I don't see nothing much happening to them. I don't see it, but maybe it is happening, but I don't know. Right? Mm-hmm. But I do know that when you get suspicious things happening to you, then you should lock off all things that can cause those things. Yes. And I would say pork is one. I will say eating from aluminium utensils is one. And even something as innocent like a nutmeg can be one. Yes. I remember one time, um, I know women who eat nutmeg in a certain recipe and the whole mouth get blistered. It was blistered bad too. Yes. You understand? Yeah. Um, I don't remember who the woman was, but I know it was a woman that I knew well at the time. I don't right now. I don't remember who it was, but I remember the incident. So, if things happening like that in your mouth, and mm-hmm. doctors can't figure it out, then you need to drop everything that could have possibly caused a thing to happen. Well, right now, in in them one, if you do biopsy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they want to know if it's cancerous. They want to know all those things there, right? Yeah. But you see, the myrrh, myrrh yeah. is a master. Oh, Real myrrh, master. Myrrh and golden seal. Myrrh, golden seal. Those are masterpiece elements for working with your the, with the throat. And your myrrh, golden seal, and the um, wild cherry bark, Okay. Okay. So it is only for gather it can like drink. The myrrh? Any of them can drink. Yeah, they can drink. Okay, like me can drink. They can drink, of course. Okay. When when you drink it it goes further down, you know? Okay. Right? Yes. But a lot of times you need to gargle with it too. Yes, I will gargle and drink a little. Because the, the, the act of gargling does something. Yes. Stir up something. Okay? Yes, yes. Okay. So you take it easy. Okay. Thank you. Bless Bye. it. It's now 139 in Jamaica. You're listening to Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. This is... Yeah, it is now one forty eight in Jamaica. Let's look into the proposition of how to clean your kidneys. Hey, <laughs> the years go by and your kidneys always filter the blood, eliminating salt, poison, and all that is harmful in our system. Um, over time salt accumulates and requires cleaning treatment how to get rid of that it is very easy first take a bunch of parsley and wash it well 
then cut into small pieces and put in a saucepan or small pot and add clean water, one liter or so, and boil for 10 minutes. Let it cool, filter it into a clean bottle and refrigerate. You can drink it. A couple of drinks a day. And you will see that all this salt and poison accumulated in your kidneys begin to appear when you urinate. This is recognized as the best cleansing treatment for the kidneys. And it's natural. Next, you should clean your bladder of all the impurities that have passed through the bladder to make sure no residue is left. Drink a tea made of corn silk to flush the bladder, the kidneys and bladder work together. Cleaning one, you need to clean the other for perfect results. However, when the kidneys are bad, really bad, when you have to get dialysis, at that point, it is really too late to use parsley. That's very sad. This is wisdom unveiling. The other herbs that um, you can use, nevertheless, herbs like Juniper, juniper berries. That's very good. Herbs like uva ursi. Uva, that's U V A U R S I. Herbs like buku, B U C H U. So buku, uva ursi, and juniper berries. You, if your her, if your if your kidneys is gone really bad, you may need to combine the three of those. But you would not be able to use parsley that time. So take care of your kidneys. Yeah, a lot of people don't drink much water. That's a big mistake. It's a huge mistake. A lot of people hardly ever drink a jelly coconut, and they can get, they can get it. Some people have coconut trees on their property and wouldn't drink one. That is madness. Take care of yourself, because if you don't, who will? Who will? And practically, who cares? It's now one fifty-two in Jamaica. If you don't care about yourself, then. Don't expect other people to. you got to get up and take care of yourself. I mean, when you have to get dialysis, it costs a lot of money to do dialysis. I mean, a whole money that's unspeakable. They may not be able to raise those funds, so then you're dead. That's very sad, man. Very, very sad. Anyway, this is Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck. Greetings. Good night. Hello. Turn off your radio. Okay, good night. Good night. How can we help you? Okay. I'd, I'd like a card reading. Okay. And you, your radio is off? Yes, off. Okay. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 1, 2. Come again. 2. Yes, come again. Nine. Hold on. Come again. Five. Come again. Three. Come again. Four. Come again. Seven. Come again. Four. Pardon? Eight. Eight? Yes. Okay, that's it, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. 
Do you get any pain in your belly? Uh, sometimes it's a cramp. Like cramp, like, yes. Uh, any when cr- I, I keep up the yelling, uh-huh. um, sometimes when I keep up the yelling for long, I get a slight pain in the Yes, belly. yes, yes, yes. And well. in the back too. No, no, let's talk about this cramp in your belly, ma'am. Um, why are you holding urine so long? Because there are times when I go places and I can't get to go to the to go to science to get time. Oh. Proper place to go. Okay. Um whenever you leave in home, do you go to the bathroom first? Do I go to the where? Whenever you're leaving home to go somewhere, always go to the toilet first, okay? Oh, do, do it first. Go and pee. When you leave home, pee before you leave home. Yes. All right? But sometimes when you go, you need, like if you drink a lot of water, you tend to want to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I, I understand that. But before you leave home, always empty your bladder first. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. All right? Yes. Yes. And then when you go there, you do everything in your power to not hold your, you, you know... Yeah. You're in so long. Okay. Because it will, it will undoubtedly destroy your bladder. Yes. And it will damage your kidneys too. Damage your kidneys too? Yeah. Your bladder okay. and the kidneys are twin sisters. They work together. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes I feel like something sticking me down below the earth. Mm-hmm. Like a, a slight like pain come on and off sometimes. Well, clearly something is going wrong already. So there's a... A herb that would is very healing for your bladder name Pepsisiwa. Mm-hmm. Pepsisiwa, you can buy it at certain herbal shops. Okay? Yes. It is remarkable for the bladder area, okay? Which one is that? Pepsisiwa. Chris, can I can you let me get a pen please? I can't let you get a pen. Just grab a pen. Yes, grab a pen. Let me grab a pen. A lot of people never hear about Pipsisiwa. But um, it's amazing for the urinary tract. Pipsisiwa and corn silk. Okay, okay, okay. Right, yes. All right. about that. There's two, two herbs that you need for sure to use regularly. Yes. One is corn silk. You know corn Corn, silk? Corn silk. I heard about it. No, you know it, man. If you take off the trash of corn, you see something in there look look like hairs. Take off the trash of corn and you see some hairs. That's corn silk. Oh, corn free. Corn silk. Oh, corn silk. Okay. Yes. Once you get a corn, you take off the trash, you'll see the corn silk in there. Let's say it looked like hair, like a hairy thing. Yes, I know. Some it, I push know. notes to the top of the corn. Uh, yes, right? I know. It. That's very that's, good for your bladder. I see all the while and I hear you telling other people. Very good for your bladder and also Pepsisua. Write down Pepsisua. You got a pen? Yeah. Write down P I P. What did I you don't write? Have, I don't have a proper light, you know, so I have to um, look in some places. Okay. P I C. Tell me what you write down. Yeah. Alright, have P I C I never said number C, I said P as in police, I as in P, Indian, P, P, as, P in, as in police again, P I okay. P. Alright, give me give me the herbs again. P I P P I P Uh huh S I S S S I S I W A I W A. Yeah, Pip Sisiwa. Okay? Okay, the first year of this one. Yeah. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, it tastes pretty good too. I, I drink some up to this morning just to see what it was like, and it was quite nice. Mm-hmm. You can sweeten it with honey if you. So if you where would you to. get this herb? In herbal shops. Mm hmm. Okay? Yes. Pip Sisiwa. Got it. 
Where, 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 which parish you in? Mm-hmm. Which parish are you living? Which parish? Uh huh. Where are you? I'm living in Kingston. I'm living but if in you're Kingston. in Kingston, go to the herbal shops in Kingston. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Kingston have many herbal shops. Ask anybody with them there. All right. Yeah. I know some of them. You know some of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just go there and ask for Pepsi Mhm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, let's get to your reading. Mm-hmm. There's a card here called the hangman. The hangman have a lot to do with you eating the wrong way. You need to eat more green leafy vegetables. Try and protect yourself from diabetes, okay? Mm-hmm. Is there diabetes in the family? Yes, my mom. Yeah. My mom had um, diabetes. Try and protect yourself from diabetes. There's a herb called mullein that may yeah. help you protect yourself from diabetes. How often do you eat rice? Well, I hardly eat rice. Only once in a while. Once in a while. Okay, good. Yes, good. They have another card here. And this is called Beauty. You have any daughters? Yes, I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. How old is she? Uh, she is uh, 50. 50 something. 50? Yes, yeah, yeah, she's past 50. Okay. Beauty. She have any, she have any daughters? Yes, yeah, she has daughters. She has two daughters uh, and two sons. Okay. Well, there is a, a girl, most likely a granddaughter, who is mm-hmm. going to be, um, do very, very well in the family, okay? Yes. She's doing, well, she's doing well already. Uh-huh. There's another card here now called completion, which means that um, you will complete your house. You have your own house? Yes. It's me to repair. You will get that done. Don't worry about it. Okay? Okay. You have another card called Satisfaction, which shows that you will be very satisfied at the outcome of your children's children. Right? Yes. You have another card here, and it's uh, another granddaughter. How many granddaughters you have? I have two granddaughters. Okay. No, I have four granddaughters. Well, <laughs> I forget that my well, son has two granddaughters. At least two of them are going to stand out, okay? Yes. And, and my son, my son daughter is standing out as well. Good. And you have a, you have a grandson who yes. will also be very powerful in business. Okay. And there's a card here now called Nurture, which mm-hmm. means that your children will always see you as a good mother. Right? Okay, yes. Because you were very nurturing to them. And a card called the hangman suggesting that mm-hmm. you need to make sure that you eat more green leafy vegetables and get some exercise. Maybe yes, take, a, take a walk every morning. Even a 30 minute walk would help you. It is very, very essential. Okay? Yes. All right? King, I have a son that needs some, um, uh, like, you need to. His head is not functioning properly. You have a son. Um, he have a problem in his head. Yes. No. His head is smoking stuff. What's wrong? With his, what's what's, what's wrong? With his nerves from long time ago. No. What's wrong with his head? He is not functioning normal as a normal human being. So he have a mental breakdown. Yes, he has a mental breakdown. Uh-huh. He's, he's, like, not taking care of, he's not taking care of himself. Okay, it's likely that it's possible that he is schizophrenic. Yes. Does he cuss and carry on? Not really. He's most on a quiet side. So he's a quiet once fellow. In a, once in a while, he'll, he'll act like, make some noise. Uh-huh. But he don't do it often. Okay. These things don't happen because somebody smoke, you know. These things happen because there's something in the family blood, in the family gene. Yes. Okay, there were other people in the family who had that same problem before. I had a sister who was like that, but it caused from somebody trying to... No, it don't cause, no, it don't cause by nobody. It is something that run in the family gene. In, okay. the, in the in the bloodline, it's not nobody causing it. It's not nobody. Somebody no, beat her up, beat her up oftentimes. Yes, but that wouldn't cause it. It's something that run in the family line. Okay. 
Okay? Yes. So, these persons need to get proper medication from a psychologist. You went to, you went to doctors, open doctors, but the medication is not healthy. But if you want the herbal equivalent, you need a herb named Skullcap. 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 Yes. You mix it with vervine. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Skullcap. S K S K U L L C A P. Skullcap. Oh, S K. Skullcap. Uh huh. You can mix it's it with vervine, vervine and rosemary. V I N and rosemary. Oh, and yes. and 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 valer valerian. Valerian. V A. L E R I A N, Valerian. Okay? Okay? You have to use those herbs mixed together, an equal amount of each. And drink, and drink a cup every morning, first thing when he rises up, and every night, last thing before he goes to bed. Yes, All right? Yes. Take care now. Do you see my prior time and. What year were you born? Uh, uh, 53. 53? Yes. What month? The ninth month. If you're born in 53, you're born the year of the snake. That means you are a fadil person. You have the ways and the wisdom of the snake. That means that your prayer time is 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning. Yes. Okay? Yes. And your direction would be south south east yes. that means you ought to face the south and turn an inch to the left okay yes all right you take care all right have Ble a good night Thank bless you it so. bless it it is now 206 six minutes after two o'clock in jamaica when we get back we talk about herbs greetings good night Hello. turn off your radio <laughs> Okay, good night. Good night. How can we help you? Okay. I'd, I'd like a card reading. Okay. Are you, your radio is off? Yes, it's off. Okay. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 1, 2. Come again. 2. Yes, come again. 9. Hold on. Come again. 5. Come again. Three. Come again. Four. Come again. Seven. Come again. Uh, Pardon? Eight. Eight? Yes. Okay, that's it, okay? Okay. Uh-huh. Do you get any pain in your belly? Uh, sometimes it's a cramp. Like cramp, yes. Uh -huh. When I keep up the urine, sometimes when I keep up the urine for long, I get a slight pain in the Yes, yes, yes. yes and in the back too. No, no, let's talk about this cramp in your belly, ma'am. Um, why are you holding urine so long? Because there are times when I go places and I can't get to go to the to go to find the time. Oh. Okay. Um whenever you're leaving home, do you go to the bathroom first? Do I go to the where? Whenever you're leaving home to go somewhere, always go to the toilet first, okay? Oh, do, do it first. Go and pee. When you're leaving home, pee before you leave home. Yes. All right? But sometimes when you go, you need, like if you drink a lot of water, you tend to want to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I, I understand that. But before you leave home, always empty your bladder first. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. All right? Yes. And then when you go there, you do everything in your power to not hold your... your you know, yes. you're in so long. Okay. Because it will, it will undoubtedly destroy your bladder. Yes. 
and it will damage your kidneys too. Damage your kidneys too? Yeah. Your blood okay. and your kidneys are twin sisters. They work together. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes I feel like something sticking me down below here. Mm-hmm. Like a, a slight pain come on and off sometimes. Well, clearly something is going wrong already. So there's a herb that would is very healing for your blood and name Pepsisiwa. Mm-hmm. Pepsisiwa, you can buy it at certain herbal shops. Okay? Yeah. It is remarkable for the bladder area, okay? Which one is that? Pepsisiwa. Chris, can I can you let me get the pen please? I can't let you get a pen, just grab a pen. Yes, yeah, grab a pen. Let me grab a pen. A lot of people never hear about Pip Sisiwa. But um, it's amazing for the urinary tract. Pip Sisiwa and corn silk. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sorry about that. There's two, two herbs that you need for sure to use regularly. Yeah. One is corn silk. You know corn silk? Corn, corn I heard about it. No, you know it, man. If you take off the trash of corn, you see something in there look, look like hairs. Take off the trash of corn and you see some hairs. That's corn silk. Oh, corn silk. Corn silk. Oh, corn silk. Okay. Yes. Once you get a corn, you take off the trash, you'll see the corn silk in there. Let's say it looked like hair, like a hairy thing. Yes, I know. It, some I know it. Push notes to the top of the corn. I, yes, right? I know it. That's very that's, good for your bladder. I see all the way, then I hear you telling other people. Very good for your bladder and also Pepsisua. Write down Pepsisua. You got pen? Yeah. Write down P I P. What did I you write? Have, I don't have a proper light, you know, so I have to um, be looking some places. Okay. P I C. Tell me what you write down. Yeah. All right. Uh, P I C. I never said number C. I said P as in police, I as in P, Indian, P, P, as, P in, as in police again. P I okay. P. All right. Give me give me the herbs again. P I P. P I P. Uh huh. S I S. S S I S. I W A. I W A. Yeah, Pip Sisiwa. Okay? Okay, the first year of this one. Yeah. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, it tastes pretty good too. I, I drink some up to this morning just to see what it was like, and it was quite nice. Mm-hmm. You can sweeten it with honey if you. So, if you where want would you to. get this herb? In herbal shops. Mm hmm. Okay? Yes. Pip Sisiwa. Got <laughs> where, 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 which parish you in? Mm-hmm. Which parish are you living? Which parish? Uh huh. Where are you? I'm living in Kingston. I'm living but if in you're in Kingston, Kingston, go to the herbal shops in Kingston. Yeah. Okay. That's too much. Kingston have many herbal shops. Ask anybody with them there. All right. Yeah. I know some of them. You know some of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just go there and ask for Pip Sisiwa. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now, let's get to your reading. Mm-hmm. There's a card here called the hangman. The hangman have a lot to do with you eating the wrong way. You need to eat more green leafy vegetables. Try and protect yourself from diabetes, okay? Mm-hmm. Is there diabetes in the family? Yes, my mom. What? My mom had um, diabetes. Try and protect yourself from diabetes. There's a herb called mullein that may yes. help you protect yourself from diabetes. How often do you eat rice? Well, I hardly eat rice. Only once in a while. Once in a while. Okay, good. Yes, good. They have another card here. And this is called beauty. You have any daughters? Yes, I have a daughter. Mm-hmm. How old is she? Uh, she is uh, 50. 50-something. 50? 50? Yeah, yeah, she's past fifty. Okay, beauty. She have any? She have any daughters? Yes, yeah, 
daughters. Yes, she have daughters. She have two daughters uh, and two sons. Okay. Well, there is a, a girl, most likely a granddaughter, who is mm -hmm. going to be um, do very, very well in the family, okay? Yes. She's doing, well already. She's doing well already. Uh huh. There's another card you know called completion, which means that um, you will complete your house. You have your own house? Yes. It's me to repair. You will get that done. Don't worry about it, okay? Okay. You have Thank another you. card called Satisfaction, which shows that you will be very satisfied at the outcome of your children's children, right? Yes. You have another card here, and it's uh, another granddaughter. How many granddaughters do you have? I have two granddaughters. Okay. Well, no, I have four granddaughters. Well, I forget that my well, son at has least, two granddaughters. At least two of them are going to stand out, okay? Yes. And, and my son, my son, daughter is standing out as well. Good, and you have a you have a grandson who yes. will also be very powerful in business. Okay. And there's a card here now called nurture, which okay. means that your children will always see you as a good mother, right? Okay. Yes. Because yes. you were very nurturing to them, and a card called the hangman suggesting that mm -hmm. you need to make sure that you eat more green leafy vegetables and get some exercise maybe yes, take, a, take a walk every morning even a 30 minute walk would help you it is very very essential okay yes. all right king i have a son that needs some um, uh like you need to this egg is not functioning properly you have a son um he have a problem in his head yes no his head is smoking stuff What's wrong no, with his what's, what's, what's wrong with his nerves from a long time ago? No, what's wrong with his head? He, he, he's not functioning normal as a normal human being. So he, he have a mental breakdown? Yes, he has a mental breakdown. Uh-huh. He's, he's not like, taking care of he's not taking care of himself. Okay, it's likely that it's possible that he is schizophrenic. Yes. Does he custom carry on? Not really. He's more on a quiet side. He's a quiet once fellow. In a, once in a while, he'll, he'll act like, make some noise. Uh-huh. But he don't do it often. Okay. These things don't happen because somebody smoke, you know. These things okay. happen because there's something in the family's blood, in the family gene. Yes. Okay, there were other people in the family who had that same problem before. I had a sister who was like that, but it caused from somebody try to. No, it don't cause. No, it don't cause by nobody. It is something that run in the family gene, in, okay. the, in the in the bloodline. It's not nobody causing it. It's not nobody. Somebody nobody's. beat her up, beat her up often time. Yes, but that wouldn't cause it. It's something that run in the family line. Okay. Okay. Yes. So. These persons need to get proper medication from a psychologist. He, he went to, he went to want, doctors, open doctors, but the medication is not healthy. But if you want the herbal equivalent, you need a herb named Skullcap. 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 Yes. You mix it with vervine. Yes, Skullcap, yes. yes. S-K, S-K-U-L-L-C-A-P, Skullcap. Oh, S-K, uh -huh. You can mix it's it with vervine, vervine and rosemary. And, 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 and valerian. V A L E R I A N. Valerian. Okay? Okay? You have to use those herbs mixed together an equal amount of each and, and, drink, and drink a cup every morning first thing when he rises up and every night last thing before he goes to bed yes king all right yes take care now we will see my prior time and what year were you born uh uh 53 53 yes what month the ninth month 
If you're born in 53, you're born the year of the snake. That means you are a fadil person. You have the ways and the wisdom of the snake. That means that your prayer time is 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock in the morning. Okay? And your direction will be south, south, east. That means you'll ought to face the south and turn an inch to the left. Okay? Yes. All right. You take care. All right, have a good night. Bless it, bless it. It is now 2.06, six six minutes after 2 o'clock in Jamaica. When we get back, we talk about herb. Now, let's talk about something that people like to eat. Let's talk about cucumbers. Do you like cucumbers? Well, high in water and low in calories, cucumbers are excellent for weight loss. High in fiber, they are good for digestion and prevent constipation. Cucumbers are high in tree lignans. Sicoisulcericinol, that's sicoisulcericinol, laricericinol, and pinorescinol. Mm hmm which prevent various cancer types, such as breast cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, and uterus cancers. Cucumbers are high in minerals, including potassium, magnesium, and silicon, which are needed for numerous functions in the body. Fiber, magnesium, and potassium are high in and very potent in cucumbers and regulate the blood pressure. The juice of cucumbers is rich in a hormone that is needed for um, uh, pancreatic cells to pancreatic cells to produce insulin. Cucumbers are loaded with. Uh, Water which eliminates the waste from the body and even dissolves kidney stones. A. Cucumbers supply the needed amounts of vitamins during the day. They are rich in vitamin C, A and B which boost immunity and energize the body. Silicon in cucumbers strengthens the joints and the connective tissues. And if mixed with carrots... It treats gout and arthritis pain by reducing uric acid. It's now 2.35 in Jamaica. Jamaica. Greetings and good night. Good night. Good night. How you do? I'm okay. All right. All right. How can we help you? Yes, I like a card reading for my son. For your son. Where is that son? Either way. He is in a different country? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Think about your son. How old is he now? He's about 31. 31. And call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 8. Hold on. Come again. Come again. Four. Come again. Two. Come again. Ten. Pardon? Ten. Come again. Five. Come again. Seven. That's it. Uh huh. So your first card here now is unity. You get along very well with him? Yes. Okay. Because unity shows a very good and sweet connection, you know? Yes. Your second card here is the card of death, though. This is not good. Okay? Uh -huh. It's not good. Um... 
If the card of death come up, especially as a second card, it means two things. He have to. He needs to pray. Okay, he needs to pray at his correct prayer time, uh -huh. and he need to do everything in his power to make sure that he don't take risk, unnecessary risks with other people. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. When is this? What year he was born? Ninety one. Third of February, ninety one. Okay. You know, he will be progressive, you know. Remember, he's from the tribe of Joseph in the Bible. Yeah. But he's an Aquarius, right? And there's a Joseph became the prime minister in Egypt after being sold as a slave. So they're very progressive people. Yeah. Just like Bob Marley, you know? Yeah. Um, he's born nineteen ninety one. Yeah. So therefore if he turned into an animal he would be a sheep. Okay. Right? Okay. Now, the sheep is a very classy person, you know, very classy. Yeah. But they, they eat kind of picky, you know, they're very um, selective. Yes. They do a lot of picking and choosing. True, true. The problem is that they think negative before positive, and that can be bad for them. Anyway, yeah. anyway, sheep people are very delicate. So he needs to pray during the hours of the sheep. In the African world, we don't call him a sheep. No, sir. We call him Hakizimana. He's from the house of Akizimana. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, he will do very well in any kind of artistic work. What work he does? Well, he doesn't do it. It's like he's working the um, hotel program. He's very industrious. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, but he did like aviation. He did, you know, different things. Okay. He worked in the bank, too, you know. No, he would be very um, progressive, very classy, though. Anything he, he choose, he choose the best of the best, right? That's so he is. Even his girlfriends would be like top of tops, right? Yes, yeah. Um, but he needs help. He needs help? Yeah. He First of all, he needs to pray at his prayer time. And the Hakazimana prayer time is 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So he needs to pray at the time when nobody don't pray. That's between 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. He can always go in the toilet and pray, bathroom. Yeah. Nobody can tell him how to go and ease his bowels, right? Yeah. 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 Um, his direction of faith and power is Hakizimana direction, which is south southwest. That means he needs to face the south and turn an inch to the right in order to face his guardian angel. Okay. 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 This is extremely important. Make yeah. sure you give him that information. Yes, yeah, I will. And he must not, for the rest of the year, he must do everything in his power. He must not drink any alcohol, no rum, no kind of alcohol at all for the rest of the year. Okay. Okay? Yeah. If he drink a lot, he may find himself the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, he doesn't really do that. As far as you know. Yes, yeah. That's as far as you know. Yeah. Right? He's more unconscious. <laughs> yes. There's a card here called Sorrow. So, if you get the card of death and then the card of sorrow, that is basically making matters a little bit worse, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, you need to tell him that he needs to pray at his prayer time. Okay. Better, better yet, give him my number and tell him to call me. Okay. okay. It is important. Very important. Okay. Okay. And there's a card you know called uh, the King of Cups. He's supposed to get married. Uh-huh. Yeah. And there's another card, you know, called Uncertainty. But it comes upside down, which means that um, he is becoming stronger, more assertive, more certain about what he wants. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. But sometimes when you do that, the, sometimes your ways change and you get enemies, you know. Okay. When you become more sure of yourself. People yeah. think you're too full of yourself, right? Yes, yes. And the card you know called the hermit, he's going to actually 
build himself a home. Okay. And he may stay by himself for a little while. Okay. For one reason or the other. Uh-huh. And the card called delay, which means that there have been lots of delays in his life. Uh-huh. But he need to pray at his prayer time in order to correct that problem. Okay? Okay. The whole thing, though, is that the death card is a, and the card of sorrow, those are not good cards to come up. Okay. Not good cards at all. So he needs to be double careful. careful. Yes. Okay? Okay. It don't mean that something bad will happen to him, but certainly he got to be much more careful than he is now. Okay. Any questions? Yes, I just said, um, married. It seems like he will, um, settle down and then in the future he will get. Yes, he will definitely settle down because there's a king card here, the king of cups, okay? Okay. But before he settles down, he's going to live by himself for a little while. Oh, okay. And he's... And he's going to have children, he's going to have children. I couldn't answer that because <laughs> um, no card didn't come up saying that um, he would have to get a, a reading done where I use a whole lot more cards. Like okay. a full reading done to, to answer that question. Okay. Okay, but basically there's something that he needs to do to make sure that he's safe for now. All right? And if that's so, it's for a time. Yeah, that's very important. Very okay. important. Okay. You see, a lot of people take prayer lightly. Yeah. Um, I may tell a person their prayer time and they may even forget about it, right? Yeah. But that's like, that's like knowing God's phone number. I mean, knowing your prayer time is like knowing God's phone number. Seriously, you know? Yes, yes. Because okay. you establish perfect contact. Yeah. With the powers that be. Uh, Just by praying at your prayer time. Okay. And facing your direction of power. It is very true. There's no religion in the world that tell you your prayer time, you know. Yes, yes. What religions do? They establish a universal prayer time for everyone. Okay. If you're, you know, sound like if you're a Muslim or so well, you need to face the East, turn toward Mecca, you know. Yes, pray at that yes. time of the day, pray at that time of the morning. If yes, you're, if yes you're, I should call you. Yeah, if you're a Christian, uh, perhaps you must pray when you're going to bed at night, go yes. pray when you wake up in the morning. But yes. everyone, there are 12 groups of people. You can put all the billions of people on earth in 12 groups, where each group, everybody in there think alike, literally think alike, right? Yes, yeah. And they have them prayer time. And believe you me, it is beautiful. When you really get into that kind of technology, okay? Yeah, prior time. Because it is good. technology. Yes. It I is a matter of that. knowing. Yeah. Now, if they should call you? Yeah, he tend to give me a call and, and explain himself as to who he is, right? Yes. And yes. they'll give him a talk. So you take yeah, care, Could okay? you give me another, another one? One of what? Another reading? No. Okay, it's not I got too yes. much people waiting. I know, I understand. I must do it. But yes. I can answer a question for you. What is the question? Oh, I have another son. He's in university. Uh huh. Call, yes. when is his birthday? His birthday is yesterday. It was yesterday. He's a birthday I boy. Uh huh. What date was yesterday? Ninth of May. Nine. So, yes. so if you're born in ninth of May, he is uh, a Taurus, right? Yes, he is. Taurus is the tribe of Reuben. Yes. Reuben in the scripture did something off the wall. He ended up seducing his father's wife. And by having sex with his father's wife, he ended up getting a very bad curse. So all Taurus men have that problem where they rise and fall they usually fall because of some inappropriate sexual contact so he got to be extremely ethical in his sexual behavior uh -huh. make sure he don't reach out to nobody that he should not reach out to sexually yeah. right uh -huh. because he, the easiest thing is to fall 
Okay. If a tourist want to rise and stay up there, he got to be morally upright. Mm. Because he will be tested by, okay. f- by females. And by some females that is not even worth the time of day. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Yes, yes. And then everything blows up in his face. Yeah. So he cannot allow himself to be ruled by his penis. Or yeah. Even though the rest of man them do the same thing, he <laughs> is treated like him alone never do that. Okay, I understand. Big, big mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. You know, it could be like like him good, him good friend, girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Or him friend wife. Yeah, man. Or the boss wife. Yes. Or some little girl that is on the age. There's always something. Yeah, yeah. So now... Yes, yes. Think about that son who's studying and call any number in the range of 10 and 73. 56? 56? Uh, yes. Okay. Why you call 56? I just, it just come up. Okay. All right. If it just come up, it's the right number. Hold on. 56. It is a number of inspiration. A dominating number. It gains great fortune and fame, right? Mm-hmm. But is fickle sometimes a may result in wrong action. That is just what happened to Taurus men, right? <laughs> this is because people under this number may try to outdo themselves and so come to grief. Moderation and striving for success is advice. He will do fine. He just needs to be warned and to take heed. So you can warn him uh-huh. and let him take heed. But in my view, he will do, he'll be fine. Uh-huh. That's my personal view. Yes, it's yes. just that his type yes. gets a beating because they're tested and tried in the most ridiculous ways and usually they lose because they, it happens in a way where it's the devil make it clear that them can't get catch, right? Yes. <laughs> you understand? Yes. I mean... I can tell you of a case where a Taurus brethren, right? Mm-hmm. Leave Otreus with a girl that he should not have been dealing with, right? Mm-hmm. And gone way Portland. Wow. In one guest house. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then go up there to do a thing. And the maid that came... To clean the room next morning happened to be <laughs> that girl's husband's sister. Wow. So the rest is his, like the rest is history. <laughs> and that brethren had to run run away from Ochi and go live in Negril, you know? Alright, yeah. Because the girl husband mad to kill him, right? Yes, yeah, me understand. <laughs> The bridge and the run left him job. Yeah. And he was dead for sure because that the bridge is a madman. Yes, yes. You get it? Yeah, I the get it. I go, get it. Sister, the bridge go way Portland, you know. Mm-hmm. And you know the wickedest thing? The wickedest thing is that I had warned him not long before that, you know, mm. that these things can happen. Yeah. But then Dunham can't get catch. If he go way Portland, how could he get catch? Yes, can I go real? Yeah. How could, <laughs> I he, get, how could yes. he get cash? That's a joke. Yes. <laughs> so he he thought my teachings was a Mickey Mouse business. Tomorrow early. <laughs> well, there you have it. Yes, tomorrow. Uh, you know? Yeah. Now, hold on. A whole other man would do that. Yes, but they wouldn't course. get the kind of beating where him would get. Because okay. Ta- In other words, Taurus is Ruben. There are 12 of us, right? Ruben is big brother. Ruben is the first spirit of, of mm. 2012. So, okay. he aim have to set the example. Aim supposed okay. to be the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. And lose oh. everything because him get him, has, him, him father wife drunk and do a thing. When yeah. the daddy come home, the wife can't face him. Right? 
Uh-huh. The son, which is Ruben Kia face him, the daddy know big things went on, and daddy put a curse upon him, and it affect all Taurus men. Not just the women, you know, the women them them them, them get into trouble too, but not like the men. The men, yes, to be careful. Because yes. let me tell you the secret now. Ruben, there's a there's a star, you know, there's a star. A metaphorical star, which is the one-pointed star. What is the one-pointed star? The one-pointed star. You ever see a shooting star? Uh, yeah. That's you ever look true. at the sky and see a yeah, like a shooting star? But they call it the one-pointed star or the meteor, right? Mm-hmm. But that yeah. represents the male sex organ, the penis. Oh, it is a, it's a, it's a phallic metaphor. Okay. Well, it's a trouble for them. Yeah. yeah. That let them men get into children. Yes, yeah. listen, let me tell you this. The problem I'm having is that ethics is not taught in schools. Uh-huh. They don't teach ethics in schools, you know. They don't teach the importance of ethics. In other words, wisdom itself is not taught in schools, only knowledge. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. So therefore, when you come out of school, you still don't know nothing. Yes, that you know, you know, a, a kind of theory of thing, but you don't know the practical because what I think need to be done in the Caribbean, especially, right? Let all the people come to the schools, like all retired people come to schools and lecture to children about their life. Yes. What them went through and what them learned from it. Yes, Could you nice. imagine how, how much powerful our nation would be? Yeah, that's so true. That if, is true. If all people come school and chat some things, a bag of things. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. True, true. No, I grew up wrong old people. So I learned a lot from my grandma. My yeah. grandma teach me. She teach me in what pattern I should think. In, in other words, there's a certain pattern that people think that they shouldn't be thinking, you know. Yeah. In Jamaica, there's a pattern of us versus them. A pattern of them uh-huh. don't like me. Uh-huh. A pattern of, of I am sick, so or somebody do me that. Uh, you know, yes, it's a very bad true. pattern to be thinking. I mean, yeah. You know, uh-huh. from a person gets sick, them conclude that somebody do them that to me. Oh, but they mash me up, you know. Yeah. But them who, a man can't explain to them me. Who? You know, them, them mash me up. So so what I'm, so what I'm gain by mashing you up? I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I must be gaining something to mash you up. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. So in other words then, we reach a point where we could be thinking along a certain mad lines. In other words, we can be technically retarded and don't know. Technically uh-huh. mentally retarded and don't know. No, it's because true. to everybody thinking the same kind of way, same it's, line. It yeah. seems normal. Yeah, everybody have enemies. Enemies from where? Mm-hmm. But the biggest enemy for a human being is himself. Is himself true, true. But it's not an enemy that met my brethren get ketchup in Portland. You know, that is it. I'm myself. I'm thinking. Yes, I, I'm penis. I'm thinking with the bottom head when he should have left, met yes, the top head it's rule. True. Yeah, man, a lot, you bottom lot, head, lot of them said bottom head, you small, but you take over, man. This top yeah. head is a idiot. And yeah, the it's bottom true. head said, okay, let's do a thing, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They can rule them. Yeah? Uh-huh. And it's uh-huh. not just in Jamaica, you know, the whole... All over the world. world. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. And listen, you see right now, it get tedious with certain behavior, even within religion, too. Right? Yeah. Um yeah, a, a, a pastor in Africa somewhere would there. Yeah, the man the man making people bury him, you know. Huh. The man becomes so zealous. Uh-huh. The man becomes so the man the man the man faith. You know, the man built up a faith in him that was more than usual. Uh-huh. I call it faith, you know, but a blind kind of faith where the man tell his people to bury him and him go rise in three days. Whoa. And then bury him. Mm. On the third day, them gone in on them praying, them go along with the holy pot antics. And, uh, the man never bust, bust the earth. As soon as them dig and look, the man started to decompose. The man dead from the night that they did and bury him, right? All right. Oh, God. And then 
in Togo, in Togo, one nether African minister, re, I don't, I, religious business, right? Yeah. The brethren said that God telling him he must wear women's shoes. So please see the brethren in yeah. some, in some, you, you, you know, high heel, spike yes, heel, woman's yeah. shoes. I got the man a wear. Yeah. And listen, yeah, and the church, cor- the church cork, you know. Yeah. Because it's a spectacle. Everybody have to come and see this thing. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> so, we, so we are drowning now in, in faith. Yeah. Which is a kind of a blind faith. There's nothing wrong with faith, you know. No, but we but carry we, religion and faith to a whole extreme. different level at J. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. A whole different level. Mm-hmm. But there are other things we could have been doing. Mm-hmm. But we're doing some other thing because a, a brethren in South Africa, for the first time in human history, the man operates upon, upon a deaf man and cure him. Okay. So we're not just doing foolish things. We're doing yeah. some good things too. Good things too. We know that, yeah. Yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's a balance, you know, but it look over here when people doing idiotic things are making other religious people upset. Yes, yes. I know. Right? Yeah. But the brethren yeah. the brethren will make will make people bury him. He must have been developing a, a mental issue but nobody yeah. never noticed. That are people walking around have mental issues. Yes. No, listen, he could have been schizophrenic or I, I, I know I know he are. I know him no normal. Yeah. But the brethren who were in the woman's shoes, some do him too. In the normal. In the normal either. <laughs> but, right. but, but, hold, but hold on. Right there in America, right? Mm. A weird thing happened too. Alright, listen. Apparently, the American government reached a point they know where them don't really know the difference between a man and a woman anymore, right? That's it. Them don't know the difference between a man and a woman anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. if a man decides that him is a woman, then him is a woman. Yeah. That's a new thing. That's a new lake now. So, yeah. some, some man from death row, right, decides to them is women now. Oh. And they move them over to the woman's facility, right? Uh-oh. Mama. One juicy scenario went on wrong there. Yes, right? man. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I can say that I approve of that, right? Yes, because yes. Because the woman them on death row, they're not going nowhere. I know. They need some action. They need yes. some action. So I don't have yes. no problem with that, you know. But here's yes. the problem, though. The federal government, them missing a screw. They're mental. Yeah, they're mental. Because what them should do, if these men declare them as women, they should cut off them. You know what? Yes, I know. Take yeah. out, you, you, you're not a man. You're not a man. More. Cut out your manhood then. Yeah. Or yeah. if you don't want to do that, give them a, a vasectomy, which, which yeah. means you, you, you give them a, a, a minor yeah. surgery with them. Can get nobody Perfect. pregnant. Perfect. You know the man them going yeah. over the wall, over carry them over there in the woman's prison and get some women pregnant. I could. So, I so, can't so, so then, don't the government now have to raise them babies? <laughs> right. That means the government missing a screw. It's crazy, wow. The first, the first thing the American government did that that raised eyebrows for me is when they banned prayer in school. Imagine you, as a teacher, I you cannot pray in school. Yeah. You get fired. Yeah. And yeah. if you're a, if you're a sports personnel, like a sports coach, you you can't kneel down and pray. Uh-uh. When, the f- yeah. when, the, when the field, you get fired. Yeah. So yeah. prayer, prayer. When prayer is outlawed, right, in a country. When them say they don't want God wrong there. Uh-uh. And after that, there's only after that school start get shoot up. Man, I go to school and shoot up the place. Right? Yeah. The same very woman, you know, that met them pass that law to ban prayer schools, her pitney commit suicide, you know. Oh. Yeah, because you see, when a, when a, when a human being don't have no God to turn to in his hour of severe stress, him kill himself. I'm giving myself how he's gonna turn this into right? God. Mm-hmm. So if the government reach a point you now where them don't know the difference between a man and a woman, we, that's a serious problem. We are in a serious, living a serious right? world. S- serious, right? Oh, no, so no, it's let me hide behind one tree, right, and see what uh-huh. they're gonna do next. Uh huh. Because right now, if a little pitney mm-hmm. in America say, "Him is not a boy, him is a girl," then just give him a surgery. <laughs> Yeah, because they, even on the birth service, they don't put the sex on it. No, as a, you, the, the pitney must decide if he's a boy or girl. Yes, when he grows up, yes. Could and they don't imagine, put the sex on could, it. Yeah. Could you imagine that? 
Yeah, they don't. So that is really something. Crazy. Little, mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know if it's the end of the world or the end of America, but it's the end of something. It's the, it's the end of something, the right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the end of something. Mm-hmm. When the whole government don't know the difference between a male and a female. It's serious. This is serious. And then the, the swearing a new judge, high court judge, a lady, a black lady. Yeah. And them ask her a full, full question about what is a woman. <laughs> right? Uh, oh, and she refused to answer them. So yeah. then, then give her the job because it looked like she didn't know neither. So she get the job. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> Mama, yeah. these days are funny nights, you know. Yes, I know. And the only thing that we can do is watch pray. and pray. Hide behind pray. one tree and watch. Yeah, pray. And pray. Yes, I'm What else can that. we do? Right? We have to just pray, yeah. Mama, you take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Think about too. your future, you see. Yes. And call a big number, man, between 10 and 73. Big number. 10 and 73? Yeah. Is it 89? No, 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 no. You can't do that. If I say between 10 and 73, you can't tell oh, me 89, sorry, Mama. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Damn, you step sorry. up my gate, mash down the door, my cabbage and gun. 69. 69? 69. 69, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what 69 have to say. 69 is a strong number. That means you're a strong woman, you know. It means great honor, lots of money, and fame. There's little risk attached to this number. People under it are very fortunate, cannot lose in any undertaking, are loved and respected by others. Their words give them much respect. Hey, you're looking good. Uh You take care of yourself, all right? Yeah, you too. And let us do the best that we possibly can to make the world around us a safer place place and a better place, right? Yeah, man. Take care now. Thank you. And I'll just listen to you. Take care. Thank you for being with us. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, bye bye. Have a good night. Yeah. It's now 304. Four minutes. Let's talk wisdom now. When you choose to see the good in others, you end up finding the good in yourself. When you choose to see the good in others, you end up finding the good in yourself. Once, in a land suffering from drought, all the villagers decided to come together and pray for rain. On the day of the prayer, all the people gathered. Hundreds of thousands of people gathered. But only one little boy came with an umbrella. Obviously, he alone had faith. When you throw babies in the air, they laugh because they know you will catch them. That is trust. Every night we go to bed without assurance of being alive the next morning, but we will still set alarms to wake up. That is hope. We plan big things for tomorrow in spite of zero knowledge of the future. That is confidence. We see the people around the world suffering, but still we get married and have children. That is love. On an old man's shirt was written a sentence. I am not 80 years old. No, sir. I am sweet 16 with 64 years of experience. That is attitude. Live your life to the fullest. Live your life like these six stories. Remember. Good friends are rare jewels of life, difficult to find and impossible to replace. Here are six important guidelines in life. When you are alone, mind your thoughts. When you are with friends, mind your tongue. When you are angry, mind your temper. When you are with a group, Mind your behavior. When you are in trouble, mind your emotions. When God starts blessing you, mind your ego. Did you know? Did you know that hugging and cuddling kills depression, relieves anxiety, improves skin and strengthens the immune system? Did you actually know that? 
Listen to these wise words. The journey is short. An elderly woman got on a bus and sat down at the next... No, an elderly woman got on a bus and sat down. At the next stop, a strong, grumpy young lady climbed up and sat down beside the old woman, hitting her before numerous bags. When she saw that the elderly woman remained silent, the young woman asked her why she had not complained when she hit her with the bags. The elderly woman replied with a smile, There is no need to be rude or discuss something so insignificant, my dear, as our journey together is so short, because I am going to get off at the next stop. This answer deserves to be written in gold letters. There is no need to discuss something so insignificant because our journey together is so short. Commentary. Each of us must understand that our time in this world is very short. That So short that darkening it with useless arguments, jealousy, not forgiving others, arrogance, discontentment, and many other bad attitudes are a ridiculous waste of time and energy. Did someone break your heart? Stay calm. The trip is too short. Did someone betray, intimidate, cheat, or humiliate you? Relax. Don't stress. The trip is too short. Did someone insult you without reason? Shake it off. Ignore it. The trip is too short. Did a neighbor, your classmates, or superior colleagues make a comment that you didn't like? Take a deep breath. Ignore him or her. Forgive and forget. The trip is too short. Whatever problems someone has brought us, remember that our journey together is too short. No one knows the length of our trip. Nobody. Nobody knows when it will arrive at its stop. Our trip together is too short. Let us appreciate friends, classmates, colleagues, and family members. Let us be humble, respectful, kind, and forgiving. In return, we will be filled with gratitude and joy. After all, our trip together is very short. Share your moments and smile with everyone. Our trip through life is very short. Hence, we have said all that to say this. Anger is a most primitive energy. It is actually outdated. There should be no room for anger. The journey through life is too short. This is wisdom unveiling. Here are a few common sense health tips. Two things you should check often, your blood pressure and your blood sugar. Three things you should reduce to a minimum, salt, sugar, and starch, carbohydrates. Four things to increase, greens, vegetables, fruits, and nuts. Three things to forget, your age, your past, and your grudges. Three things to have, true friends, a loving family positive thoughts, six acts to stay healthy, fasting, laughing, exercise, walk or cycling, at least five to seven kilometers daily. Keep always physically active and mentally relaxed. Weight loss is also good. Four things not to wait for. Don't wait till you are sleepy to sleep. Don't do that. Don't wait till you are tired to rest. Don't wait till your friend is sick to go to see him. Don't wait for problems to pray to God. Take care of yourself. Think positive and be forgiving. General knowledge. As a matter of general knowledge, it is very important to note that when you stay up all night, you run the risk of damaging your kidneys. To eat cold food, you tend to damage your stomach. Smoking may damage the lungs. Eating fatty foods tend to damage the liver. Eating salty foods tends to damage the heart. Overeating tends to damage the pancreas. 
Eating seafood indiscriminately will damage the intestine. Mobile phones and computers will damage your eyes. Not eating breakfast will damage your gallbladder. Eating fruits regularly after meals on a full stomach promotes hair loss. Let's look at how emotions harm your body. Anger weakens your liver. Grief weakens your lungs. Worry weakens your stomach. Stress weakens your heart and brain. Fear weakens your kidneys. The sweetest time of your day is when you pray. Why? Because you're talking to the one who loves you the most. How do we know this? Commentary. It is important to note that the supreme consciousness we refer to as God is not a separate entity from you or anything else around you. It is you. God is your higher self, the purity of your own spirit. Who could love you like the higher you, your original angelic self? Of course, God is Father Time. God is space, God is love, God is circumstance, the universal all, the first cause of all existence. In time, you come to realize that all this is true. Now let me be clear. It is important to note that God to man and man to God contact is called prayer. Prayer is not something to remind God what your problems are. Prayer serves to remind your problems who God is. And finally, remember that happiness keep you sweet. Trials keep you strong. Sorrows keep you human. Failure keep you humble. Success keep you glowing. But only faith keep you going. Sometimes you're not satisfied with your life. While well, many people in this world are dreaming of living your life. Imagine this. A child on a farm sees a plane fly overhead and he dreams of flying. While a pilot on that plane sees a farmhouse and dreams of returning home. That's life. Enjoy yours. If wealth is the secret to happiness, then the rich should be dancing in the streets. But only poor people's children do that. If power ensures security, then VIPs should walk unguarded. But those who live simply sleep soundly. If beauty and fame brings ideal relationships, then celebrities should have the best marriages. Hey, but they don't. Live simply. Be happy. Walk humbly. And live it genuinely. Pray at your astrological prayer time while facing your direction of faith and power. And in good time, all your need will be given to you. When you do something beautiful and nobody notice, don't be sad. For every morning the sunrise is a beautiful spectacle and yet most of the audience still sleeps. Imagine that. Let's talk about water. Drinking very cold water or very cold drinks often after a meal can lead to cancer. Can you believe this? It is a nice feeling to have a cup of cold water or cold drinks after a meal. However, the cold water or cold drinks will solidify the oily stuff that you have just eaten. It will slow down the digestion. Once the sludge reacts with the acid, it will break down and be absorbed by the intestine faster than the solid food. It will line the intestine. Very soon, this could turn into fats and lead to cancer. It is best to drink hot soup or warm water after a meal. This, my friends, is wisdom unveiling on the upper deck. It's now 326 
in Jamaica. Veiling. 3.26 in Jamaica. It's now 3.35 in Jamaica. The numbers are 876 nine two six two one seven eight eight seven six nine two six eight six three one and eight seven six nine two six seven six one five greetings greetings good night good night how you do I'm doing fine. Good. How, what can we do for you? Yes. I'm asking if I can get the card reading. Okay, you can. You had one before? That was a long time ago. What you call a long time? A year? Yeah. Okay. All right. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. Okay. The number 5. Come again. So- Nine. Come again. Seven. Come again. Two. Come again. Ten. Come again. One. Come again. Four. That's it. When when is your birthday? On the 16th of November. Of what? November. November. 16th of November. What year? 1989. 1989. Okay. Yeah. Now, if it was... It's a snake. Yes, sir. It is a destruction number. You're born the year of the snake, okay? Yeah. Um, being born the year of the snake makes you very wise, but um, not very communicative. You find that sometimes it's hard to reach out to people, right? Because uh-huh. uh, the snake don't really trust nobody, you know. Right. Yeah. But on top of that, you're born the 16th day. That is a big challenge for you. Because 16, 16 is a very destructive number. It tends to mash up your love life totally. You have a love life? Yeah. Not, not really. Um, when somebody is trying to You do what? Not 100%, but me and somebody is talking. Me and somebody is talking. Okay, now... What is that person's birthday? I don't. You don't really know, right? I know, but I do have it in my head right now. Well, listen to me. I think you did tell me one of the time that me and that person is compatible with something like that at the time, and she's a, something like a sheep. I don't remember. All right, listen, listen carefully, though, right? Mating is extremely important to a human being, right? Yeah. It's because mating can determine if you're going to be happy or if you're going to be grumpy or sad, right? So whenever you're mating, it is important to pay attention, right? Yeah. In other words... The man that don't remember his woman's birthday can easily lose that woman because in her her interpretation is that him no care. Right? Because she wonder how she could remember his and he can't remember hers. Mating is a very serious event. Okay? So if you're if you're mating with someone, ask the right questions, write it down in a little book. So that you can always refer to it and know exactly who it is that you're David, okay? Yes. 
every animal supposed to know what animal they're mating with. Or, don't, or mating don't make no sense. All right? Yeah. Now, 16 is a number that creates a major problem in love. So, you have to have principle. You, have, you need to be the kind of person that your mate, whoever she is, can believe in you. Know for a fact that you would not do this or that. Right? Mm-hmm. Now, we reach a point now where most most women cannot truly trust their man and if somebody come and say their man do this or do that with another woman they have to believe it because that is where we reach there now in our in our history we reach a point where we cannot be trusted and that is very sad you know what i mean that yeah. make, that make happiness further away from us again you have a card here called Sorrow. It shows a woman on her knees and she's crying, right? Mm-hmm. It is important that if you're serious about mating with someone, that you be a man of your word, okay? Yeah. yeah. You have another card here, you know, and it shows a son. You have any children? No, not Well, someday you're going to have a son for sure. Even the, and there's a daughter here too, so someday you can have a son and a daughter. And there's a card called wealth, which means that you'll find a way to do well financially and um, take care of your children, okay? Mm-hmm. You have another card here now called the Queen of Nurture. Now, are you a male? I'm a male. Good. So the Queen of Nurture means two things. A nurturing female that can be a mother, a nurturing female that can be a wife as well, okay? Okay. You have another card here now, and it's called Potency, which shows a new beginning. So you'll, you'll bust out, you'll find the way to do well financially, for sure. And you also have the Ace of Beauty, which means that both your son and your daughter will be Ace students. They'll both be quite brilliant. So now you need to work out now how you going to make some money to take care of these youngsters when they come. Have you figured mm-hmm. out yet? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Um, yes, yes, yes. you got to have it properly figured out, you know. Yeah. In other words, mating, mating comprised of all those elements. First, you, have to, you need to have someone that is tolerant of your ways. Mm-hmm. We all have certain ways that not that may not be easy to tolerate. True. True. You also know ought to condition yourself to be tolerant of her ways. True. Okay? Mm-hmm. Religiously men are of the opinion that that God um, met them to rule over woman, right? <laughs> but today's woman is much smarter than a lot of men. Mm-hmm. So we need to change our thinking and realize that the man is indeed the guide. But wisdom should rule, not him. So if she come up with a wise idea, then he should go with it. And if he come up with a wise idea, then she should go with it. Let wisdom rule. Mm -hmm. Not me or you or some other man. Don't let the woman rule you. Don't, you understand? Let wisdom rule. rule But it's it's going to happen because that's the way of the world. Right? Rulers, Rulers rule over their nations. That's normal. So it's easy thing to say, but men are going to have to be humble to the word of truth, regardless yeah. of who talk it. So if the woman speak the word of truth, then mm-hmm. then she should be followed. That mm-hmm. word of truth should be followed. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Whoever speak the word of truth. Then that word of truth should be followed. Not the person, but the word of truth. Mm-hmm. So rather than being 
a lover of the woman or a lover of the man, the human being should be the lover of truth. True, true. Then we'll be much better off, right? Yeah. Now, basically what I see here is a good life for you. You have a challenge, you know. And that challenge is that you'll always be easily misunderstood by the person you love. So don't get upset when the person misunderstands you. Okay. But take time off to explain yourself. And Mm -hmm. take time off more, to even more to forgive. And let go of the pain of the past. Yeah. And you will win. In spite of the fact that you're born the 16th day. Okay? Yes, sir. Remember that ignorance... And stupidity will never run things. Yeah, it will ignorant only run us. Huh? Ignorant don't go anywhere. Well, to be ignorant means to don't know. <laughs> so, it don't make sense we have any behavior that's off the wall. We need yeah. to talk. We need to reason. We need to discuss things. But you have to find someone that's compatible with you. To be, yeah. at, to, to be, the human being must find someone that's compatible with him or her, okay? Yeah. To, to, to contain and maintain goodwill and happiness. When a person not compatible with you is harder, much harder. I, I know. What's your question? I, I know, I know, because you did told me the time and all that we compatible. Okay. And it will work. It will work. But you see the thing here is it's not that I don't know uh, the, the date of birth. You know, it's just that I don't remember. But at the time that we don't remember something, we don't know, you know? Yes, that is true. <laughs> not, not remembering is not knowing, okay? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If if you don't remember where you live, you don't know where you live, you know. Right? Yeah. If you don't if you don't remember who's your mother, you don't know your mother, right? Yeah. So if you don't remember the birth date of your spouse or lover, then you for that psychological moment you don't really know that person. Yeah. So make a point to keep it in your immediate memory these fine points what year she's born what date and stuff like that okay yeah you take care man you will be first you'll be just fine okay right? the reading finished right yes do you have a question oh n- not really you remember okay. your prayer time yes you did some like 11 o'clock no, so I, nine, no nine. I said 9 a.m to 11 a.m okay Okay. And face the south, southeast. That means you must face the south and turn an inch to the left. And you'll be facing your guardian angel, okay? Okay. You take All care right. now. And so. at some point when you find out certain things, call me so that I can give you her prayer time and directions so that you can encourage her to pray. Okay. All right? Yeah. Because two people who pray stand a, a big stand a lot of chance. More okay. than one that pray and one that don't pray. Prayer is important, right? Yeah. Unless you don't think that there is a God. If you don't think that there is a God, then prayer be a waste of time, right? Well, I believe in God. Yes, but That's remember, what I think I know you got, that you got people who don't God believe. Exists. You got people who don't believe in no God, right? I know, I know. And you have to respect their their opinion because they're entitled to it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Blessed. It's no three forty nine in Jamaica. Greetings. Greetings. Hello, good night. Yeah, good night. How you doing? I'm not too bad. Okay, how can we help you? Black Rock card reading, please. Okay, let's do it. Call any number in the range of 1 to 10. 7. Come again. 9. 
Come again. Five. Come again. Three. Come again. One. Come again. Six. Come again. Four. That's it. What's your age now? Uh, I'm going up at 75 plus. Wow. You sound extremely strong, man. <laughs> huh? 46 born. Huh? 46 born. You're born 1946? Right. November okay. 17. 17 is the official number of peace and love. Right? Yeah. 46, you're born the year of the dog. So you are a camo person? You know your prayer time? No, I never, I never really check out the prayer time. Your prayer time, time is 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. in the evening until 9 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, between 7 and 9. Okay, it's the perfect time for the prayer. Your direction of power would be west, northwest. That means you should face the west and turn an inch to the right, and you're facing your guardian angel. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. Remember, you're born the year of the dog, and the dogs are some of the most pleasant people on the planet. Okay. The dogs stand up for justice and fairness, right? All right. Some of the greatest counselors in the world are dogs, okay? Okay. Your first card here now is the king of innovation, suggesting that um, you're going to get some ideas that's going to make good money in the near future. Okay. And your second card here is the son, the official card of marriage. Are you married right now? No, 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 no. Never. Never get married? No, no. Okay. Well, you're going to attend a marriage, though. Somebody close to you getting married soon. Oh, yeah, maybe one of my son. Yeah. You have another card here now, and it's called Prudence, suggesting that you will live remarkably long. And have money coming in even at old age. Okay. Yes. You have another card you know called judgment. Now, it is very much important that you find time to understand the younger people you know. Okay. Don't think you can always tell them what to do. No, 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 no. I very hard to do. You need to find out from them what it is they want. Okay. You have another card here, and it's called rest. So you think you'll get enough sleep at night? Well, um, I, I sleep, I sleep up here that time, but after all, uh, when I wake up, like, I sleep, like, say, from, maybe from 8 until about, call it 12 when we wake up after I know I'll go back to sleep again and maybe till when where that is actually daylight. Well what 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 time you go to sleep at night in the beginning? Well most of the time I go to sleep what after eight o'clock. And wake up what time? I wake up after uh, in at three o'clock. But that's excellent. A uh, a man your age don't need no holy for sleep, you know. Okay. Listen, a man your age, right? Right. Don't need the more sleep than that. Okay. You see a baby was just born, and him needs sleep. Right. Him even done make yet, right? Okay. So him ever sleep so that him system and everything can build, right? Okay. But when you reach all in that in them age days, seventies and all that, you don't need that much sleep. I think you're doing very well. <laughs> okay, right? sir. Yeah. You have another card here now. And it's called the lovers. Do you have a lover? Well, let mm, me say yes. Even if she's just an undercover lover, she's a lover, right? Yeah. Because your lover shows that someone is going to reach out to you, right? Right. And it looks like she's worth it. And you have another card you know called order, suggesting that your life will be in order. You'll be fine. You don't have to get married, but you'll be fine. Okay. Okay? Right, sir. Now, remember, though, that you are one of the stronger 
our strongest brand. But the average person reached 72, them just preparing to leave Earth, you know? Right. So, in this time, it is important that you strengthen yourself always by taking that early morning walk. That's why I always got to find my farm and I get up very early in the morning and go to the farm and work and then come home back sometime back in the evening. Uh-huh. Come home. Come home and come have a bath and then you now I'm get a little food and sit down and watch the television until little time you know, at 8 o'clock then I go to bed and right. wake up those hours and then I no more sleep until such time again in the evening. Yeah man, you you're doing well. For for your age, right? Yeah. You're doing well, okay? Okay. Um, unless you're eating a lot of heavy heavy stuff like meats and stuff, but if you're eating lightly, you don't need no whole heap of sleep. No, I mean I don't I don't eat no whole heap of eating on mostly mostly for like bean and peas and well, 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 well. Do a thing most in the seed pan. You're doing well. Um I I can't really pick up any major problem for you really. Okay. So just take care of yourself as usual, okay? All right, sir. I mean it is important. That you keep yourself as happy as you can. You know? Yeah. Find things to laugh at, man. Yeah, right. That's what, that's what I do most of the time. Yeah. And, you know, you can do a little planting. You plant anything? Yeah, man. I work and do, do the farming. Yes, man. Just go and sit, stick to your earth and get things done because you're born to win, okay? Yes, sir. All right. So take care. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you too. Bless it. Yes, that's the night. Good. It's now 357 in Jamaica. In Jamaica. Um, i take another break. When I come forward, we will talk about dreams. What did you dream? What is your dreams? What, you remember your new dreams? Well, let's talk about what these dreams mean. I mean it's now after 4 o'clock. In the AM. Throwing stone. You ever dream that you're fling some rock stone? Throwing stones. Denote that you will be visited by a dear friend whom you will be delighted to see after all those long years of absence. Thunder. To dream of thunder is a sign of an infamous, notorious, and unpopular visitor. Be careful how you speak to that person. Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Okay. Tired. To dream that you are very tired is a sign of weakness. It also indicates loss of appetite. Tissue paper. If you dream of tissue paper, it denotes joy and profit. Um, Tobacco. To dream of tobacco denotes that the prisoner will be released shortly. Tips. To dream that you receive tips denotes that you are lazy. If, however, a person offers you a tip and you refuse it, it signifies dignity and wealth. This dream warns you to work where wages are paid for labor and do not depend on tips, for you will never get anywhere in this world by depending on tips. Awake and be up and doing for the welfare of your race as well as for that of your children, living or unborn. Toilet. To be in a toilet denotes mischief. (laughs) Tomato. To dream of eating tomatoes is a sign of good health. To dream of rotten tomatoes denotes a misunderstanding among your friends. Toothache. To dream of a toothache denotes that you will cause much trouble to a friend which will be unintentional on your part. To see others suffer from a toothache is a sign of divorce proceedings. A tombstone. To dream of a tombstone denotes the death of a relative or dear friend. Tools. To work with any kind of tools signifies profitable employment. Torchlight. To see one, a torchlight, denotes that you will be a good gospel grinder. 
To dream that the torch is burning brightly indicate that you will make a great sacrifice in the behalf of humanity. Travel. To travel on horseback denotes good luck on the following day. To travel on foot denotes embarrassment. To travel by boat denotes profitable employment. Tray. A full tray denotes joy and profit. An empty one denotes loss of appetite. Trees. Green trees denote sickness. Dry trees is a sign of re. Verse circumstances. Treasure. To dream that you see a large treasure denotes good luck from now on. Trombone. To see one denotes that you will be promoted in the near future. Trunk. To dream of one denotes a journey by which you will be profited both in health and in wealth. Tuberculosis. To dream that you are suffering from tuberculosis signifies that you will suffer loss through your own carelessness. Turkey. To eat turkey signifies great happiness followed by wealth. Twins. If a woman dreams that she has twins, it denotes that she will be delivered of a beautiful baby boy. Umbrella. To dream of one denotes protection to the poor. To dream of having several umbrellas foretell long life and an abundance of wealth and prosperity. Uncover. To uncover anything signifies that you will discover a great secret through your own skill and perseverance. And finally, undress. To undress denotes pleasure. Undertaker. To dream of an undertaker denotes great sickness, but you will recover. Unhappy. To be unhappy in your sleep denotes joy and profit. It indicates profitable employment. To see others unhappy is a sign of misfortune. <coughs> Sorry. Which is due to your own negligence. Union. To join a labor union is a sign of peace and satisfaction followed by prosperity unlucky to dream that you are unlucky denote that you will meet with good luck on the following day this is a very good dream for gamblers unwell to be unwell denotes hardship utensils to dream of various kinds of utensils signify a happy marriage followed by great prosperity to dream of cooking utensils denotes a happy family circle. It also denotes an increase of wealth and prosperity. And finally, vaccinate. To dream that you are being vaccinated denotes a long journey which will prove beneficial to you. This is Wisdom Unveiling. It's 19 minutes after 4. It says now 4.45 in Jamaica. Brothers and sisters, it has been a absolute pleasure for being here. We give thanks and praises to all our listeners, all our callers, well-wishers, fans, critics. We give thanks and praises to you all. Remember that coming up at 5 o'clock is the Sunny Side Up with Francois and Paula Ann Porter Jones. Remember also that to book a private reading with me, you can call me at any time. The number is 844-2295. That's 876-844-2295. Remember, you can call, uh, check me out on my YouTube channel. It is, um, just dial, type in King Majesty. Uh, you can see predictions for this year, 2022, and all that. Also, for those of you who would like to check out, um, um, my uh, music you can also check out my album there on um, YouTube and yes it's 447 in Jamaica we give thanks and praises to
to Radio Jamaica for allowing us to be here. Remember that the views expressed here on uh, Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck is not necessarily the views of this station. On behalf of um, Jacob and myself, Majesty, we would like to wish you a very prosperous and uplifting week. Remember, live your best life. Do the best that you possibly can and make the world around you be a much better place. Until next Monday night, when we get another thrilling episode of uh, Wisdom Unveiling on the Upper Deck, we want to thank you for your time, and thank you for the pleasure of your company. Thank you. God bless. Sila.